baby. Can I just say, I really, I really want to say this, Nella. I'm fucking gassed your hair. I'm sorry, I have to say it. I'm happy to be no, here. No, 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 don't say it. I'm, I'm gassed. <laughs> I'll, I'm gassed. Honestly, I'm I'm so overwhelmed that you're here. I think one of the mm. most requested people that I've had to come on this show has been Nella Riz. And I said, you guys think I'm somebody or I'm just a normal woman being. Are you crazy? Like, I, I watch your podcast. <laughs> the thing is with me, I like to watch podcasts yeah. instead of listening. So yeah. I, I watch you mainly like on YouTube and then I see you on TikTok and stuff like that. So you've seen my bending wig and everything. <laughs> <laughs> my sister, but it's been, it, it's been inspiring, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I saw you in Myers and then Victor and obviously like Adiola and like Maria. I just see you with like just have conversations with people that are like prominent in our culture mm-hmm. and it's like you bring another side out to them because obviously like it's cocktails and takeaways but it's like you bring another side out to them that just it's like oh like you want to watch your favorite people that you watch everywhere mm-hmm. on your show mm-hmm. like it's like when they come on your show it's like oh no nah, i didn't gonna eat it <laughs> so yeah <laughs> i think i've been listening to you since uh i don't know but i'm gonna say about I'm gonna say about like ten months, eleven months. To no, to a year, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm man. overwhelmed. I'm oh, over- Do you know what? Yeah. That? So you've been watching from I'm like the, the day dot. You know, this is only like this is only a ten month old podcast. Really? It's a yeah. This is not. Th- we haven't been in the game I think for so that I long. I started watching. Who was your? Was it Myers that was your first guest? Who was your first guest? Colade. Colade. And they had Colade. Oh yeah, my Colade. god! <laughs> when all the drama was happening. Wait, what's uh, happening? What's happening? Did you not see what he was going through? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, 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 no. Not that time before that. But yeah, honestly, that was yeah, awful. Yeah, he's my baby. I think that's, that's my baby. even how I discovered you. Uh-huh. Because I think he posted it on his story. And I was thinking, who's this girl? Because it's like, when it stuff to do with like the black community mm-hmm. and this and the other, I like to just like, not be involved like physically, but be involved like just to see, see what's going on. What's yeah, going yeah, on yeah. Because I just feel like the way that Americans support each other is a bit mad. <laughs> Listen, like, they gon' fight for theirs. Like you they always gon, talk about, they gon' fight. I think one thing I'm I love fight about for them. was mine. Like <laughs> it's, it's crazy, but it's like I, I feel like we need kind of like that in the, the same community. Do you know what I love about the Americans? And the thing is, like, it's like even even hearing someone is from the same city as you mm. like obviously every time i think about rappers and stuff like yeah. i think about obviously meg the Stallion. she's i'm um, from texas you're your good sister my good sister your good sister <laughs> my good sister she's from texas and i remember yeah. the way houston stand up like H-Tone, yeah, like you know yeah, how yeah. they are and then obviously um kanye west being from um where is he from i don't even know he's chicago from, chicago Chantel, Chantel. 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 you know they're always like Chantel stand up like yeah. if, if one person from your city is growing and mm. going and and doing well yeah. everyone is like yeah that's my dog like he from shy town representing shy mm. like but i don't know in this in this london in this london with, i don't know i don't london, know and it's more like there's different ways to look at it mm-hmm. it's like it's either if one person is blowing they're all bum lick mm-hmm. until something bad happens to them and they will fuck and they'll think the you in the person. bin yeah then it's more like okay cool this person is blowing I'm going to copy everything they do so I can try blow like them. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's fine because it's like, it's inspiration, but then it makes the market look the same. The same. And then there's yeah. like, there's one person who's wearing, I'm going to hate the fuck out of them. <laughs> this fucking she, bitch, who does she think she is? This girl, Just, she's my enemy. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Did you see that lace? The way it was lifting. These times, your mom's lace. The back of her neck. It's, let's talk about your mom's effect wig. I'm going to change. I'm going to change. change. Let's talk about your mom's effect wig. Actually, no, let's leave her. She ain't do none. <laughs> no, but she did everything. Out. No, she ain't Let's bring it back. She ain't do none. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it's different because I feel like when I go to, like, when I see, like, other communities, like, in Belgium, everyone supports it. Like, all the influencers support mm-hmm. each other. I love that. And it's, like, just in different communities, you're like, raw, like, the way everyone's supporting each other, I feel like in London, it's very easy to stick close to the, just the people you fuck with. Yeah. And I don't like that. I want it to be like, it's like the London girls are taking over. Yeah. Like, look at this. They're doing da 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 da. It's not, but now it's like, oh, let me stick to the people that I know because I don't know this person's attention, this, that, and the other. And I feel like London just needs to be a bit more friendly because. 100%. The, the 
outside looking in, they fucking love off London. They're like, mm. oh my god, the UK girls makeup, the UK yeah. girls, the UK the girls highlight is really it. highlighting, yeah. And the UK girls are staying away from each other. Yeah, like, it's not on. It's not on. Like I feel like I feel like generally like there's this. I feel like there's always this uh, prestige bravado. Mm. Like everybody wants to come and pout lips and yeah. do bad and bougie and let's see who the baddest B is and this and that is. But you know what? Yeah, I've kind of realized life is too short. I just mm. like I just like bitches that that they know how to have a motherfucking good time. Yeah. But do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? I'm happy. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm a very like instinctive person. I could just mm. tell like who's who's fun. And and who's, who's not, who? Who's who? Do you know who's what I mean? Who? So <laughs> I, I was literally saying I've had the privilege of meeting some really, really cool, fun girls. There's no one yeah. I've met that I'm like. I don't. I don't think she's quite kind. Yeah. But everyone has been like, do you know what? Yeah. Like most of the time, like after after I film like or something, I'll end up. Let's go for drinks. Let's go and party. Yeah. Let's you know, go and gonna party have a good time. After like, party. As, as, do you know it's <laughs> bank holiday, baby. So we finna yeah. we finna turn the fuck up. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. yeah. I haven't really had any 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 issues, but generally. It is well. We will pray for we will pray for our London girls. We will pray for everyone, but it's not. I don't think they do it intentionally, though. You, yeah. I think it's a thing where like forget the girls, forget the influences. I feel like London culture is very hostile because it's mm-hmm. like what what what. I'm from Northwest. What you're from South? <laughs> what 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 what? Is there beef? <laughs> what? Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's very like London is very territorial. It's mm-hmm. like you fuck with the people that you're that you guys grew up the same place or yeah. where you're from this that and the other and it's mm-hmm. like it's very territorial but I, I need Londoners to realise that we're very small it's a small place I, I don't think daddy. London is even the size of what is it that one New York Ohio what, what's oh, that New those York, places called you don't Chi-tel. know Chi-town, you know you don't know my, my uncle is 50 cents I've told you, you don't so we're related that. then yeah Who's you don't uncle? know about Curtis Jackson that's my uncle but 50 saw some 50 you know my uncle 50 it's my uncle my darling, 50 Cent, his name is Curtis Jackson. Yeah, but I call him <laughs> Uncle Philly. That's what my daddy called him, told me to call him. You know, my daddy's from Washington, D.C. <laughs> you know, if I was an uncle, I'd start speaking talks. I'd be like, Roko Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I don't understand. Every time, the, every time, like, okay, so my dad has been, he's just moved to America. Really? He's, yeah, he's moved, That's he, so random. Like, yeah, he obviously, him and his wife, his wife was American, so he oh. moved. He moved to the worst place. Sorry, Where? sorry to anyone that's from here. Where's, what's this fucking place? Uh, Oregon, Oregon. He was in Oregon. So when he's like, "Oh, my daughter, come and see me," I was like, "Daddy, where you, where you know went?" There's, he's like, Oregon. You know there's a Netflix documentary about Oregon about how there was a cult there. And they didn't survive, or they didn't make it, or something like that. Honestly, I was like, what her. is in Oregon? <laughs> like, I was looking at the Google Maps, and I was just seeing trees. I said, where the bar, where the, where the, where the clubs at? Where the niggas at? Like, if I'm finna go to America. Cocktails are different. Cocktails is cooking, isn't it? This is, cocktails no, is no, cooking. That's <laughs> cock in a glass. <laughs> that's, what, that's, <laughs> that, that's how I finished it. That's how I finished it. But I was like, Dad, if I'm gonna go to America, like it's not gonna be Oregon. But anyways, he's yeah. moved to Texas now. He's now in Texas. That's okay. He in Texas now. He he in H town. He in H town. He in H town. Hardy. He is he is word. He is Stelly word. Yeah, he is Stelly now. So he was like, Yeah, when you coming over, I'm like, Dad, I'm here in the accent. He's like, Yeah, you know, I'm just in Houston right now, you know. And I can still I, hear the Nigerian. Yeah, the, the Nigerian is there, but he's he's gone a bit Hollywood with it. He's like, Yeah, because yeah. I, I I haven't told my dad on. that I do consecration full time now. So he doesn't know about the podcast, he doesn't know nothing. To be honest, if you know, you know. And I was like, Dad, joy. I was like, Dad, he was like, So what are you doing? And I said, Dad, I'm, you know, I'm working, I'm doing consecration. And he's like, Oh, let me see your podcast. And I said, <laughs> goes, Let me see your podcast. It went, it went the inflection is like, Let me see your podcast. podcast. I said, I, I'm sure his neck did that as well. And I'm yeah. like, Dad, I'm not showing you my podcast because I don't want you to talk about the things. I don't want to, I don't want you to hear the things I'm talking about. He's like, Well, you're, well, you know that I'm tech savvy, so I'm going to find it. Uncle, I said, Dad, uncle, please, uncle, please, <laughs> please like, never again. Please, dad. Uncle. I said, Dad, you've been here for like two months. Like, what are you doing? Like, what is going on? I yeah. love my dad, but I don't even know what's going on. Like, even, yeah. even to the point where, so I did an episode with Victor mm-hmm. last week. Mm-hmm. And um, my sister was like, "Wait, he was last week." Yeah, you should. Oh, I would have loved to do it with him. I love you. Didn't, you didn't call me. I didn't call you. You no, didn't call me. What is this? Um, <laughs> this accent called? <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> everything is ed at the end because the ed is the Correct. flavors. I didn't cry. That would have been so Next time, next time you want to have me on, I'd love to do it with either Victor or Mazenads. Don't worry, I got you. Have you been to America though? Talk to me. I've been to Atlanta. ATL, baby. I've been to ATL, baby. There's loads of Congolese people there. Really? So when I went to Atlanta, 
it was for like this event this like youtube black thing nice. that i had to do and um obviously i didn't really know a lot of the american youtubers but i mm-hmm. didn't want to reach out to them because i didn't want them to think that i'm trying to use them for clout yeah so i just stuck to myself and i didn't speak to any of them very times like i me. was big fan big of, yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was a big fan i'm talking queen niger like wow. zoe everyone but i was just like you know what let me play it safe like who knows whoever knows me will speak to me mm-hmm. and then vice versa but mm-hmm. nobody knew me um so i was just by myself so oh, then no! i was just snapping and the, i'm talking major youtubers whatever but it's not their fault they probably like you know when you're at an event and you don't know someone you're not gonna go out of your way to try get to know them yeah you're gonna gravitate more towards like your friends your friends 100 percent. so i don't blame anyone i'm still big fans of all of them i just <laughs> can't believe you know you <laughs> can't believe you're in the same room as i was in the same room as queen fucking Nigeria. like what the fuck yeah um and then, so yeah, so I went there and then I was just snapping on my story that I was in Atlanta. The amount of Congolese people that messaged me, I was, Congolese people don't message me like that in London. Mm-hmm. And I know there's a massive community of us in London. Mm-hmm. They were like, come to here, come to there. I was thinking, you lot are everywhere. I got Congolese takeaway. I don't get Congolese takeaway in London. I was in Congolese Atlanta, specifically like, for Congolese. I was talking about I can order Congolese food. What shall I eat? I don't know when I think about what shall I eat. Like, y'all that eat bar. Like, what is that? It's like suya, but like like more smoky. Oh, that's and then we eat like fumwa, fumwa, which is like it's like um, it's like a leaf and like a peanut butter swiss. Like it's giving oh, me, it's me. giving porn. Me. Like Cong- the way Congolese food makes me feel. You lost me at peanut butter, darling. So do you want a five? When I flip this table, I'll show you peanut butter. And though, how would you say peanut butter? <laughs> peanut no, you, butter. No, you say peanut butter. Do you not? Do you, do you guys not have like chicken and like peanut sauce? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm trying to think. Like, actually, I feel we, like I don't knock you too shy because to me, when I was growing up, I was thinking, oh, my mom's cooking this peanut stuff again, and it's like when I tasted it, I was like, oh, this peanut stuff slaps. I said no, but this is really something. <laughs> The flavors are melting. The flavors are melting. Flavors. Yeah, it sounds mad, but when you taste it, you're like, God damn, this God is the so shit. God damn. Do you know what? I will not knock it. I will not. Do, I'm always. I'm a very. I want to try everything once. Yeah. Like I like. I will lick someone's asshole like once to see I done it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, so, like I'm finna do that. Like I'm. Rocco Santa <laughs> Kashi Kere Ba 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 Ba. <laughs> We rebuke you, Joyce. Say this. No, I'm sorry. Joyce. I'm gonna, do it. I'm gonna do it. Joyce, I'm gonna look at S Hill. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Joyce, do you know? Do you know what comes out of somebody's asshole? Yeah. Do you know? What? I'm not I gonna lie. I want you yeah. to say it. I didn't know, honestly. <laughs> oh, you didn't know what comes Wait, out? Of no, no, I didn't know it. Honestly, I'm gonna actually have the most fucked thing I've probably ever said, Jeb. I have to say mm. it. So never again. Somebody said they want to lick my bum in it. I've never had anyone lick. That's my, fine. Someone said they want to lick my S. That's fine. And I've never ever been in that region before <laughs> like that area i didn't know like <laughs> of sexual to be honest how many people have actually <laughs> know how the functionalities of their us works nobody nobody so i was like my friend was telling me about this douche thing where you stick it inside the bum and, and you the squeeze, water and you squeeze it and the water <laughs> I, I, do you know what's so stupid? <laughs> Our mums was doing that to us from before. You know the African mums, they used to use, what is it? It's, it's like a ball and then it has, it's a stick. I'm so sorry, not my mother. <laughs> well, my, my mama used to clean my asshole out. <laughs> she said, y'all gonna be dirty up I there. Never, I never had Yo, anything. Bad, I never had, had anything stick. stick. Just because you had the no, easy guys, job. <laughs> some of us were getting sticks up. Pump it. Mama used to pump it. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I need people to co-sign you because <laughs> oh, no. they I, never heard, they I never know. heard anybody. I never heard anybody stick anything before, on the asshole in their life, <laughs> babe. Like before, before you see the douche in mm-hmm. the. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a stick and it has like. A yeah, 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 yeah. The douche. It's called a douche. The douche. Yeah. Yeah. So before, obviously, like I have a lot of gay friends. Like I, I'm basically. Any person you know that's gay, I'm friends with them. Like, I have a lot of gay friends. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh, yeah. So, basically, I must have walked into my friend's house. I'm not going to say who he is, but you know I love you, baby. I was in second year of uni. I was in second year of uni, and I walked into his, like, his flat, and I saw it in the, um, in the bathroom. I was like, oh, my mom used to use this on me, like, to clean up when I was constipated, when I was constipated. Mm-hmm. And he was like, no, oh, baby, I'm not. <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm not constipated. I said, what do you mean? Like, it's to help. He goes, yeah, but for other reasons. And I was like, what? And then what that's, you mean? that's how he like, what you mean? told me. It was like to clean out 
you know, the, the for, for, uh, for Enel, oh, yeah. For, for Enel. For Enel. And I was like, are you freaking icky? <laughs> you freaking icky. You freaking icky. I'm almost for constipation. <laughs> All this time. All this time. <laughs> it's for Enel. It's for Enel. If you want to get your, if you want to get your beauty I can't imagine myself yeah. doing that. Enel, I said, I want to. I think. Try- I think the only time I would douche is if, say, I'm going to like an event and I need my belly to be flat, flat, right. Fill it up with water. <laughs> Stick it up. We gotta go, baby. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think that's what it's for. Not for an arrow. I'm scared of that shit. No, like, girl, what the no, no. fuck? Girl, it, it, it's scary. I remember when one somebody on the show and I actually cut it out <laughs> said they did anal and they pooed. No, but like I said, my gay friends, mm-hmm. They tell me all that, like, if you don't douche, you will poo. No, it's not, it's not a or maybe 100% like a, thing. But <laughs> be prepared for it to happen. Like, but the, the thing is, it's mad because it's like, I feel like <laughs> <laughs> if you're doing an error <laughs> and you poo, you can't look, you can't see you that do? person again. Like, what do what, you do? What do you, now, the shit on the bed. <laughs> what do you, like, and it's probably like look, a little nugget of poo, do? like, just, uh, do you know what, yeah? I would actually have to just I'd you, think I'd restart my simulation some way somehow yeah. I'd have to restart my life I'd have <laughs> yeah. to be like God again another one another like, one please thank you <laughs> how, how can you shit on the like if I was to shit on the bed yeah I think I'd be I'd do a thing where I'd go to sleep I'd wake up and I'd act like I didn't know what happened like it was a dream <laughs> <laughs> like, like oh, how was you how, you're right okay okay babe you you're breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> you're because <laughs> that didn't happen we never took a break. Do that, you know, I don't know what I would do, you know. I wouldn't recover. I don't know what you would just be like. <laughs> I've just shut the bed. Last time I thought that I was three. <coughs> I was three. Girl, you were shit in the bed, goddamn. Oh, I maybe. don't think I've ever shut the bed before, you know. I've I used to be a wee on the bed, but but my I used god, to wee the bed. I used to do everything. Wee I was just a crybaby. Like I used to do stuff just so that my mom could look after me. <laughs> when I clocked, <laughs> no, no, I was getting no, no, older. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When I when I clocked, I was getting older. Like, I knew I could do things, but then I would just do things. And I'm talking about, like, between the ages of three to five. Mm-hmm. I would just do things so that my mom could, like, be like, look after me. That's the soft life way. It's that's really... The, that's princess treatment only. But, but I'm telling you, listen, ain't no... Okay, cool. I didn't even finish my story. So, basically, I've never... Exper- I never... Like, see you. You had the experience of... You had the self-awareness of your s <laughs> Uh, of, of of course, but I never. Knew, I've how never. Do I shit? Of course, I know you. The <laughs> thing is not, but seriously, do, do you actually think? I don't think once you wash it, once you wipe the, but yeah. the actual eternal organ, organisms, organisms. I don't think about it internally. I like what it happens like, past yeah. the rectum. <laughs> like I'm sure, obviously, the gays and people that do anal will have more of a. Oh yeah, you know, you can stick things up there. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I put my finger on my bum. <gasps> so this is- <laughs> I had to know what was it. I had to know what somebody wanted to lick. I put my finger on my bum. I put my finger. I put my finger on my bum. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. What, what was the, what was the reason? What was because the I wanted, reason? Because I wanted to know. Because I wanted to know. Like, listen, it's better for me to embarrass myself in my own closet room than to be in a situation where someone licks my bum and then I poo. <laughs> <laughs> because what the fuck? Because how can, how can I? How can I? How can I? Like, Someone's just gonna lick it and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because it's a muscle. I want if it, if it's relaxed, no. it, might, it might just fall out. It might just fall out. You think your booty gonna fall out? It, it, it might do. No. It might do. <laughs> girl. Oh, girl. Girl. So, so you put your thing with our nails. No, I have no. no I've got no nails at the moment. I've got oh. no nails at the moment. But I put my finger on my bum. You know, I always have. I, girl, I would, <laughs> I, I would cut something up there. <laughs> like, shit. Do you know what? Yeah, the reason why I don't have nails is because I went to a bad nail tech mm. and um, basically my nails were tearing off to the skin. So now I got all my little man chubby little boy fingers on. Shit, that's, that's my bitch shrug because then my bitch shrug because I pending. But yeah, literally yeah. I was bleeding and everything was awful. Mm-mm. But yeah, I was just quite curious because I was like, fam, I would rather know. I need to know things. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just gonna stretch open. Anyways, someone like you that's that's been prepared for anal since you are you are you are like so- from, from uni. I found out about anal because of my friends. I just never knew. I was like, I've never like, participated in that kind I've, of stuff. I've though. never done it in my whole life. Again, mm. I, I'm I'm very open. I will try mm. everything once. 
No, but what if that one time traumatizes you for life? Like, that's why you can't try it. It will not once. happen because now I know how the functionality works. Now Joy. I've, I, fam, see, that's how you need to put your finger in the bum. Because <laughs> then you would say, you would then you would know. Joy. Then you would know what's there. Because, you know, with me, and I'm pretty sure with you as well, mm-hmm. with anyone, mm-hmm. it takes one thing to traumatize you for, for a long time. Mm-hmm. So that's why I don't try things once because I've tried a couple things once or I, I, I've even experienced like things what? once. No, like family shit, like okay, oh yeah, yeah, shit, oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, okay. I've experienced one thing with like giving someone a second chance. I've tried that once. Oh, Where did that take me? Like giving this person a chance. But I've, this is, but I'm you, 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 you talking too deep, sis. I'm talking about light stuff. Anal, like trying food. Is, like, is, is anal not giving somebody a chance back there? <laughs> <laughs> back there. Oh, right, that's, <laughs> no, I'm talking about. I'm not. I'm talking about trying things like trying new foods, trying new oh, sex yeah, stuff, no, trying no, new food yeah, like exciting yeah, depends. food. Like honestly, like all those yeah. um cockroach uh roasted thing. I said to God, I will do it. We eat all of that in Conquer. We eat maggots, oh, smoked, shit. smoked. Yeah, nice. How smoked. come all your shit is smoked? We're a smoky country. We all smoke, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sis oh, was no. telling me about smoked suya. But I'm talking about smoked <laughs> maggots. No, but it's like the stuff so, in Congo, yeah. Do you know what? The, I bro. promise you, the day you, the day you taste Congolese food, you're going to be like, okay, cool. Like, don't knock it till you try it. The stuff sounds mad. The minute you put it in your mouth, are you not going to move over there and, and marry So Congolese? you eat maggots, but you won't do anal. Can you see people are confused? <laughs> Can you see people are confused? Can you see people don't know what they want? Smoke like this with a bit of paprika. It's not a bird. It's not a bird. It's a bird. Now, I just feel like with anal, it's like, I just find it very, like, very, you know, what is it? Invasion of privacy. Like you've just gone through. I've oh, I've to, I've given you the front door. It wasn't enough. You want to go through the back door. So now you want to take the whole house. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think I would ever just get the mortgage. I just no, I the, get... the thought of it. I don't. I, I, you know, with me, if I can never think of something, I mm. will never do it. Mm-hmm. But enough with the anal stuff. Enough of the anal stuff. I actually want to talk to you about something that I saw on Twitter. Ooh, what um, you see on Twitter, girl? Obviously, there's been a trending thing called uh, mm. cancelable takes. So this Can- cancelable was, takes. Yeah, Twitter was discussing their cancelable takes on different topics, food, film, and culture. Okay. I want to ask you what are some of your cancelable takes. So basically, people were define cancelable takes. So cancelable takes meaning like people were saying that comment on this uh, uh, about alcohol. Yeah. Um, that might oh, cancel. That, that might, was like, oh, like unpopular opinions. Unpopular opinions, basically. Okay, cool, um, cool, some cool. people were like, um, we're canceling each other over um, body. We're canceling each other over food. Like, Bodies. Just, mm-hmm. Somebody said we're canceling. Wait, hold on. Somebody not said, body. You can't cancel no one over their body. I don't like that. Like you know, different stuff. Uh, we're canceling each other over our credit card numbers. Like just crazy stuff. Okay. My, so I saw one about alcohol, and I said, Yeah, I don't feel like take. Ray and nephews should be for human consumption. Oh, I don't feel like I keep saying it. Ray and nephews should not be for human consumption. Choice. Yeah. Let me take a look at some. Yeah. Let me take. Let me, big up Jimmy Acom. Big up. <laughs> big up my yard people, them. Let me tell you something, yeah. Do you know why people like me, mm-hmm. like, really um, admire Ray and Effie? Not it's admire because Ray. When you're a heavy set girl like me, you're tall, this, that, this, that, and the other. Mm-hmm. When I meet other girls that are like me, it's like you're automatically a heavyweight. Mm-hmm. So, for example, my friends, you know, like Mariam and mm-hmm. Adiola, you, mm-hmm. you see how I'm always with them. Mm hmm. And we drink together to go out. Mm-hmm. These girls, two shots, and then Nella, oh my God, like, let's go. What are you gonna <laughs> call the Eva? <laughs> With me, it's like two shots of that, and I'm just staring at them like, okay, so I'm gonna look after everyone. But it's like when you're a, when you're a heavyweight, and it takes you a lot to get drunk. It's like okay, cool. I'm just take two shots of Ray and nephew, and I can catch up to my friends. Can you see? somebody that's not normal i know but i get it though i get it because everyone hates it but it's like there's not a lot of girls that are heavyweights and it's like i feel like it's more heavier girls or like girls that are like bigger it takes a lot for us to get drunk so it's like Mm -hmm. i'd rather just drink two shots of rain nephew and be good for the whole night than be taking like however many shots of you know these lot will be back in back strawberry daiquiri (laughs) pasta martini oh my god can i get a frozen strawberry daiquiri and i'm just like this all this shit is just I'm just drinking strawberry now. I'm tired. And it's like, if I want to, if say it's someone's birthday, I'm trying to have fun, this, that, and the other, I'm just taking two shots and be, be lit. Can you see lit. you're not normal? 
I know I'm not normal. You're not normal person. <laughs> I can't do honestly raise the nephews. I'm I'm honestly at this point I'm sure they've blocked me because the way I talk about them, like I'm sure that bro, sorry, raise the nephew. I don't understand that drink. Yeah. I think the drink is is a mess up. <laughs> it's I think a the mess drink, up. I think that drink is scary. Scary. What's your what's been a really bad drunk experience for you? Really bad drunk experience. Oh, uh, they were all at uni. Every single one was at uni. I think one time Roko Santa Kashi came in. <laughs> <laughs> I was at uni and I went out with my boy. I was with Afro, Merge, like just a couple of my boys, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that was one of like the third times I ever got drunk in my life. This Mm -hmm. was in second year because I only started drinking in like second year of uni. Mm -hmm. So that was like one of the, either second or third time I ever got drunk in my life. So I was drinking, but the way they were mixing the drinks, it was tasting nice to me. I said, this is tasting good. Those are the scary ones. I said, oh my God, this is sweet. Who's gonna give me some more? <laughs> <laughs> so, they were giving me like more drink, more drink, more drink. Mm-hmm. We we're on our way. So, obviously, I went to a uni in Leicester and the club was in Loughborough. Mm-hmm. If you guys don't know the difference, it's like down neighbors, down the streets, like, yeah. Neighbors, whatever. So, it was on the train, it was drinking, drinking, drinking. I was thinking, oh, drinking's fun. This is great. This is amazing. Jolly good. And bear in mind, when I say the first time I drank, I always try to include it, but it was communion. Mm -hmm. It wasn't anything else other than, it was no spirits. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Get to the club now. I'm wearing a closure. I'm wearing a closure wig. Oh, girl. Yeah. And I'm having fun. They're like, they're talking. What was playing back then? J Haas, Kojo, Fuzz. Hey, you're done. All this Azonto music, this, that, you know. And then. Someone, someone, I think someone wants to put their arm around my shoulder. My wig came off. Oh no, it was on the floor, blonde. What was your camera saying? Shit. Oh, and then someone, man. someone picked up the wig, but I was so drunk because I didn't know what t- I didn't know the difference between tipsy and drunk, and I didn't know this was my first time. Someone picked up my wig, it was my, it was my friend, yeah, and then he didn't know how to put it back on, so he placed it, <laughs> <laughs> he placed it on top of my head, and then I was just like. Right, like, and I was just walking around, with it, and it kept falling off. I kept peeling it back because I was like, drunk. It was <laughs> so Afro, if you're seeing big this, up, loyal. no, not big up to you. I hope you trip on a sandwich. <laughs> like, no, nah, I just no, nah, that was just so bad. Oh my days! So you know that? You know, it's my worst nightmare for my wig to come off. You know, I think I would yeah. actually pass out. There was a video. Did you see that video of um, where? Where you know the three sixty? <laughs> Carried the wig round and round. I I don't have to be paid today. I'm gonna I'm gonna go, and I'm not gonna come back. Like I, just, <laughs> <laughs> but that was. It was like it's because your wig your wig <laughs> is flying. Did she just try to grab the wig? The wig. The camera said no. <laughs> the camera said view. I didn't know. You know, I, just, I didn't honestly, know how to feel. The worst thing I think could, that could ever happen to me in my fucking life is my wig oh. being pulled off. I think I'd actually. You've never had your wig. You don't fight. Never. You never, never fight. Never. Do you? Um, it wasn't wig times I was fighting. Ah, uh, okay. It okay, wasn't okay, wig times okay, I was okay, fighting. Yeah, yeah. But the drunkest time I've ever had. Um. I must have been, everybody knows, when I was younger, I was a silly billy. I must have been like 16, 17. 16. You were drinking at 16? Please don't. I've, everybody no. knows that I'm a silly billy. I'm a I was a naughty girl. I was a naughty girl. 16? Yeah, no. I, was, I, was, I started like very, very early. Very, yeah. very chaotic. A and, lot of um, people do, do though. And um, I remember I was in, um, I went to my girl's house and they bo- invited all the boys at school and all the Not popular the boys. boys. The man them were there. Yeah. And I remember literally, um, I got so licked off Russian vodka. Uh, you know that Russian vodka I got so fucked off. He was drinking Russian vodka. Yeah. My black ass was drinking Russian vodka. Sister, what did you expect? <laughs> Russian vodka. And I remember in front of all the boys, I literally puked. Like in front of all the group of boys, like of me trying to do sex, I went, Ugh. and then I, all I could hear is people saying, handle your liquor. And then all my fake, those fake bitches, they even, they were like, Ugh. My, all my friends though, Ugh, what is she doing? Ugh. And then I woke up in the bath. Yeah, I must have passed out That's inside the crazy. bathtub and I woke up in the bath. But I want to say to all those fake ass bitches, I'm with Nella Rose. How about that work? <laughs> how that yeah. work? How about that work? I'm with Joyce. How that work? Yeah, work. All right, cool. But you know what <laughs> I realized, yeah? Yeah. 
when you're drunk, you see your true friends. Like, say, yeah. for example, I've been abroad, yeah, mm-hmm. and um, I've had to look after my friends in, like, the maddest situations. But it's like, when I know they're drunk, I don't give a heck, because it's like, that's not you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I've seen, like, especially because I'm, I'm a party girl. I like to party. I, and, like, I like to go to different party holidays and have fun and yes, stuff. Darling. So I've seen a lot of girls just disown their friends. Awful. Like, I remember in Afro Nation, at Afro Nation, I saw several people just passed out. And on it's the, like, in the sand. The, every single person, every single group of friends that would be walking past them would just be like, where are your friends at? Where are her friends like? Or where are his friends like? That I just feel like if you leave your friend when you're drunk, you are like bottom barrel. God would deal with you because you you'd think you'd think their friend is going out of their way to make everyone's lives hell. No, they just yeah. wait, they just had too much to drink. So it, I mean, it happens. Like, get her. If it's if it's a, for me, if it's a thing where it's like once or twice, three times, it happens. Like yeah, there's sometimes where we fall over the edge, and sometimes <laughs> you know. Our drink is not there. Sometimes Ray Nephews, they, you ask for rum and they yeah. accidentally give you Ray Nephews and you didn't know you thought it was Cardi and then now you fucked. Yeah. That's happened to me a couple times. But I don't like those friends that are, that, that are, every time you go out, they are constantly fucked because you're ruining the night. I feel like, like come on. I've like, had seriously. a friend like that. No. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, come oh, on, man. Fucking okay, hell, like, you're ruining 50, the night. 50. You're ruining because the night. I've had a friend that every time we would go somewhere, they would get excessively drunk and ruin it for everybody yeah. every single time so it got to a point where it's like my friends would be like to me i'm not coming if you invite this person because we Ooh. know how they're gonna be so do you know what i done it was more of a thing where it's like i'm not going out with you <laughs> if it's a thing where no nah, yeah. it's hard to manage it's true me. yeah I'm not going out with you if it's a thing where it's like a drinking thing. Like, if it's a brunch, I'd come. Mm-hmm. Like, if it's like a dinner, I'd come. Or you want me to go shopping with you, I'd come. But it's like, if it's like a drinking thing, you know not to shout me for that anymore. Because yeah. I've told you, like, oh, yeah, let's do other stuff. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. I agree. Because I, I know I know what it feels like to be that, that, friend, that friend that just over drinks and ruins. Every, like, they start fighting people. Yo, girl. Yo, yo, girl. They'll, they'll start fighting people in public, and it's like, yo. You know that's one my of my. Reputation. You know that's one of my nightmares after after my week falling off. Uh, Imagine, it, no, babe, I've it, been in couple situations like that. Do you know what? You just don't see me because my I wig getting duck. pulled off. <laughs> my wig getting pulled off, and my breast getting pulled out in the fight. Those two things I can't. The breast. The, the breast, breast getting pulled out in the fight. Su- finish me. Seriously, I'm done. JC, I'm out. Is that a boy thing? <laughs> Is that like a boy? Dear Joycey. Dear. Like, your breath. Nah, my breath's I get fig- it. My breath's coming out in a fight. My breath's coming out in a fight. Especially your breath's coming out in a fight and you had to back somebody back else. Back someone else. That was drunk fighting. It wasn't even, the ca- it wasn't even your cars. It wasn't no, even your reason. No. I feel like sometimes, yeah, like with your friends, and I have this with, obviously with me, it's weird, but I have like four different friendship groups. Mm-hmm. So I have like my secondary school lot, mm-hmm. then I have the college lot, then I have the uni lot, then I have the influence a lot. Mm-hmm. So I have like four different friendship groups that I'm yeah. a part of. With all my friendship groups, everyone knows the pattern when it comes to me. Mm-hmm. And I feel like everyone needs to do that. Like whatever friendship group you're in, or it, even if you just have one friendship group, tell them the pattern. Yeah. By the way, if you lot are fighting, I'm not involved. Don't come and disgrace me. Don't yeah. say, <laughs> so put that so shit, bro. It's not your business. <laughs> if you lot are fighting, I'm not involved. If you lot are doing this, I'm not involved. So, so that everyone knows your pattern so they can't blame you for shit later. You want to start a fight and then you want to be pissed off that I didn't jump here. <laughs> I'm not in the hood no more. I This is my job. We're yeah. elevated now. You want me to lose my sponsors? <laughs> Maybe we can take them to court, small, small courts. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah, we can. It's not that expensive. We gotta handle things like ladies. You spend more in the bag. Yeah. You spend more in your handbag. Yeah. I'm sure you can take them to court. Like, how... It's like... I feel like sometimes when you're like an influencer... I hate that word. I just mm-hmm. say I'm a YouTuber. Mm-hmm. When you're a YouTuber, a podcaster... Content like, creator. Huh? Content creator. Con- content creator. I like that creator. word. I like, I like that, that word. word. Yeah. When you're a content creator, it's like... You're not allowed to have emotions. You're not allowed to fight. You're not mm-hmm. allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do that. So, I'm gonna say that literally... Mm-hmm. I'm not allowed to fight. I'm not allowed to. So how dare you put me in this emergency? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how dare you to do that? How dare you? <laughs> I'm so finished. But guys, I want to introduce my guest today. Honestly, I think this is like, this is a very special episode to me. Um, 
because what? I have <laughs> I, no seriously no it really is I have literally one of my favorite people like someone that I'm so inspired by someone that literally I've watched her journey from the from the white eyeliner not, not the white the, eyeliner to, to <laughs> working with some phenomenal brands to being oh. like the most for me prolific black youtuber in the uk don't let me cry today girl I will, don't worry i'll cry before you <laughs> guys i want to introduce you to d <laughs> Nella Rose. oh my god <laughs> i just want to say i'm so happy to be here i'm so you sad. are one of my favorite podcasts okay. you, you've been now i've been listening to you for months like everybody knows this so i'm so happy to be here that i'm so honored honestly and I'm i love your personality and Guys, I think you're so blessed and that you're gonna go so far and don't forget me when you blow. Period. Girl, <laughs> listen, you girl, you you already listen, you coming with me. We all we all go to the heavens, we all go to Period. the top. I'm ready, I'm ready, but Period. honestly, God knows. I don't think you realise how how uh, special this episode is to me and how much so, I you appreciate know I'm a cancer. you. You can't say shit like this to me. <laughs> we will, don't worry. We will cry together. Don't worry. <laughs> Honestly, how how inspired I am by you, how much I love you, how much I've watched your journey, how strong, fantastic. If I can Thank give you. every adjective, if I could open the dictionary, I would just start li- put adjectives. Not the thesaurus. <laughs> oh yeah, the thesaurus, that book. <laughs> I would just start adding what's fantastic, fantastic, yeah. marvelous, everything. But honestly, I so, so appreciate you. But talk to me. How has your week been? How- talk to me my week i just i have shoots every single day and okay I, look at chicken wings no but if i don't have shoots i have because obviously you reached out to me a long time ago mm-hmm. but it's like my schedule stops me from doing the thing like this i really wanted to do this <laughs> but it's like you know like work stuff gets in the way mm-hmm. so i've just been doing a lot of work stuff i have shoots every single day if i don't have shoots i have meetings for for more shoots or more stuff Mm -hmm. but i just really wanted to take the time out to come here because it's like you listen to this person every week but you're not gonna make time to come and shut the fuck up (laughs) and it's good friday so i said come on let me like because no one shoots on good like no one works it's bank holiday yeah yeah exactly so no one works so it's like you can't book me for that day so I'm gonna take it. Yeah, and come on, cook doesn't take me. Yeah, we finna and have I'm a little motherfucking like, drinky poo for real. We finna have a drink. So, yeah, a drinky poo. We so, have a little motherfucking drinky poo. So it made sense for me to come here today. I'm just so happy to be here. I love you so much. I think you're an amazing I person. I love you, and I'm so happy to be here. But girl, I want to. I, I, I want to ask the. I want to ask one question. Ask me. That everybody's asking. Oh no! I just know what one. You're gonna say. I just need one. I just need one. I'll give you a proper answer though. If, if if it's what I think you're going to ask me, I can just tell you, because it's not like I, I'm on my... Well, ask me. My question is... Yeah. Can I squeeze your bum? No, no. What bum? I should stand up and show you an extension of a thigh. Now you got that ass The thing is, I actually have a bum and I actually have a really big bum yes. when I go gym. <laughs> <laughs> when I don't go chip, hey yo, like no one tells you, like you know them people that like have like really nice like shelves. pumpy yeah. yeah shelves. They don't tell you that the minute you stop going gym, it deflates. So when I used to be a proper gym babe, when I had the time, mm-hmm. my bum got to a point where it's like, cause obviously growing up I've never had a bum, and then I went gym and I got bum, and I was just mm-hmm. like. Is this what it's like? But how is it sitting like that? I can put a drink on it and it will stand up. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is going on here, baby? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then it just deflated when I stopped going gym and then it was just like, no, nah, this is, I have to do this for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But yeah, the bum's gone now, but obviously I can get it back whenever I, I want. You get me? Like, up, I'll, I'll have a look. But honestly, the real question, the real <laughs> question. We'll have no look. Don't, don't worry, I will look. I'll, I said I'll, I haven't I'll, been I'll dreaming. Tell you, I'll tell you if it's true. That's what, oh, that's what I do. So she was like, I ain't got no bum and she got a bouncy bum. No, but, so does Mariam. Like them lot love just to lie. Like, yeah, you they love, love to lie. Don't worry, lie. I'll tell you lot. Love to lie. I'll tell you lot. But I, 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 I really do like. Know. Yeah, she, she does. Man. I know she does. And I know she like does. She's shape. like, I don't have a bum. I don't have a bum. I was like, girl, you cap it. I've seen it. You, you cap him. Don't listen to them. <laughs> but no, lot. This is the real question. Yeah. Jesus. Girl, where the fuck you been? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Where the fuck? Where the fuck you been, girl? Can I? Can I just tell you the truth? Talk to me. Just the real answer. Yeah. I've been on YouTube since I was 18 years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Deep it, I'm about to be 25. Mm-hmm. And I got to a stage where I was looking at my YouTube channel and I was like, how many times am I going to sit in the kitchen and talk about body counts? 
Mm-hmm. Like, how many times am I going to sit with my girls in matching tops and talk about, um, man cheated, what should I do? How many times am I going to try on clothes and be like, oh, this fits, this doesn't fit. Oh, I'm a bad bitch, I can take your man. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I got to a stage where I was just like, raw, like, you've been on YouTube for a fucking long time. Mm-hmm. And you've been doing the same content. So what I did is I just removed myself from YouTube altogether. Even to the point, even before that, um, the majority of the content I was making was sponsored. So it would be a haul, but it would be sponsored by this. Yeah. It'd be a vlog, but it would be sponsored by this. It was just like sponsors, sponsors, sponsors. Because that was the sponsors were the only thing motivating me to do YouTube videos. I wasn't motivated by myself to do YouTube videos, right? So I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna quit YouTube and I'm only gonna hop back when I've when I found the love for it again. And I don't wanna keep doing the same shit. Like my subscribers or like my viewers or even just the people that know me, hear about me, they don't deserve for me to give them sorry. For me to give them the same content over and over again. Like, so what? I'm gonna be twenty five so I started this at 18. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be 25 and I'm going to sit in the kitchen and talk about body counts. Yeah. And I'm going to sit in the kitchen and talk about what would you do if a man cheats on you? Do you know what I mean? Like my 25 year stage, like obviously YouTube has bought me a lot of followers and a lot of subscribers and I will never leave YouTube, but I don't want to come back with mediocre content. Mm-hmm. Content. I don't want to come back with content that's been seen before, been done before. I don't want to come back with content that's predictable. I want to come back with content that it's like, okay, I subscribe to Nella and she's giving me this. Yeah. Every single week, I'm seeing, oh, this, and my, my mind's being full with this, that, and the other. The kitchen, the group videos, I'm still going to do group videos, but like in a different way. Yeah. Like, I feel like, how can you sit in the kitchen from when you were 18 to now you're about to be 25? Where's the evolution? Yeah. So I'm just trying to evolve and I just don't, I don't want to come back on YouTube when I'm still doing the same thing I was doing when I was really, really young. Yeah. I want to just like sit down, plan, like pay production and pay this, pay that for my channel to be somewhere where it's like, this might be a bit of a reach, yeah, but I want my channel to kind of be like Netflix. Yeah. Every time you go on there, you've got something different to watch and Mm -hmm. you're entertained. Do you know what I mean? I just... I know, and no shade to people that still do that. The type of videos that I do, that that, that keep doing you, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's sick that I started something and people still fuck with it. Mm-hmm. I, I, that just it warms my heart a lot. I'm not saying saying people should stop, but I'm just saying that you know, like say for example, you started wearing curly hair in 2010. Yeah, and it's 2020. You're still wearing curly hair. Like girl, do you know what I mean? It's like where's the, the evolution? Same way, yeah. I just feel like I appreciate everything YouTube's given me, but now it's time for me to give back to YouTube. 100%. Not just be like, oh yeah, I'm going to drop a video and it's going to get bare views and I'm going to get paid. Mm-hmm. And the, me- the 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 video is meaty, it's mediocre. It's the same shit you was doing since you was 18. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to drop this with this person. Like, say for example, I do a video with like um, my close friends, mm-hmm. um, like my uni friends and my like... Um, secondary school friends i know it's gonna bang because everyone loves our chemistry so i'm gonna do a quick video like that and it's gonna bang and this that any other and everyone gets paid and this that any other and it's just like nah like give the people that gave you the platform that you have now quality mm. because i wouldn't be nella rose if people didn't fuck with my content yeah i wouldn't be nella rose if people didn't like my pictures watch my video i wouldn't be like if my engagement was shit no one would care about me do you know what I mean? So it's like, and those people have given me, they've put me on like this high horse that I am on now. And now I'm just going to forget about them and just take all these deals that are coming to me now. Nah. So I said, I promise the day I quit YouTube, I said, I'm not coming back on YouTube until I bring them quality content. I love that. You yeah. know what? That's amazing. I think it's fantastic that as a woman that you, you, you have seen that you want to evolve yourself and you want to show people that you've evolved. Mm. But have you taken have you have you thought about your that your followers just kind of miss you i do i do and i feel bad but that's why it's like i'm everywhere else Mm -hmm. but my channel do you get it (laughs) so it's like you will see me on first island then you see me on netflix then you see me on like you you'll just see me everywhere but my channel because it's like if if this brand wants me to produce like first island for example they want me to produce um produce content for them amazing it's like okay cool 
my subscribers get to see me on there but i'm just not producing shit content for me like even when i started working with other brands yeah it was like they were producing better content of me than i was on my channel wow that's when i was like nah, i need to upgrade mm-hmm. do you know what i mean like when it's like oh uh, like different brands want to put me on their channels it's like they're making fun content of me so it's like my my supporters and like the people that fuck with me they're never really in the dark of what i'm doing or if nella's not posting on her channel i can see her here mm-hmm. if nella's not posting on her channel i can see her there it's not like i've just disappeared because the day I disappear, it's like, okay, something's really wrong. But yeah. I haven't. I'm still working with everyone that I used to work with before. But the people that are subscribed to me deserve the best. Because you lot pay me at the end of the day. That's like, like, you see how when you work a nine to five, that's your boss. Mm-hmm. People don't watch my videos. I don't get paid. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah, and I'm just going to give them a, a haul. I spent, what, like 200 pounds on PLT. I'm going to try on the clothes. Uh, <laughs> and then, like, nah, I want to give yeah. them more, like, and you'll see, like, this summer, because obviously I've, I've planned my content out and I'm about to get in, go into shooting. <laughs> <laughs> so I've planned my content out. And, like, this summer, like, you'll see what I'm talking about, like, not giving them the same stuff, like, Imagine you've been imagine you've been subscribed to someone for like six, seven years and they're just giving you the same shit. But then they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but they're still giving you the same shit. And it's like I hear that, but I feel like you're being a bit too hard on yourself. But I'm if I'm not hard on myself, who's gonna Who is be? it? It's true, absolutely. Ooh. And I feel like I, I'm very excited for you. The new content, cinematic photography. We're gonna get cinematic photography. I mean, I really we're gonna, it's like, gonna be cute. No, but it's gonna, no, 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 no. Honestly, like from what from what I'm hearing, I'm excited because you want to take your content to the next level. Yeah. You are absolutely right. As an individual, you can have the same standard of um creativity and of visuals and of content as somebody as Netflix and that. Like we are in the age where things like that is accessible. If you have a mm. good team, you can do that. But what I will want to, I what I do want to say to you in behalf of. All your support is including myself mm. that we we loved you in the kitchen and we still love you on the stage do you 100 percent. i promise you i, I promise you know. like i think yeah. the way the way i'm hearing you talking it's like you're kind of like obviously it's really annoying like everyone like when you're a content creator you think of this as a business yeah. but i think as a consumer you think of the person and yeah. nella does not change in any situation nella doesn't change if she's using uh, 360p <laughs> nella doesn't change if she's on netflix yeah. nella doesn't change i feel like in every aspect people will still support you because mm. we love you we don't love the it's not the glitz and glams we're coming for yeah we're coming for the personality and we're coming for the person mm. so i just want to say that to you but i'm i'm fucking excited girl you need to come the fact back okay it's gonna be it's <sighs> Like, the stuff I'm coming with, I'm, like, I'm going to show people more, like, you see how I'm, like, a very private person? Mm-hmm. I'm going to invite people into a side of myself that I've never shown the internet. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to keep doing the same content I used to do before that got me this audience in the first place, but then add more stuff on top of that. So it just, it's like, when you come on my channel, if you want this, you go here. Mm-hmm. If you want that, you want there. It's not just one thing that you see on my channel. And I just got to a stage where, you know, I don't know. I think every girl goes through this. Like, you know, when you're about to be 25, you start to evaluate your life. Girl, I just got my uh, cerv- cervical cancer screening. No, um, so girl. I got the... I, le- I was like, a smear test. Yeah, the smear test. That's it. I Babe. Said, I said, have I reached that age? Yes. I'm a big... <laughs> I'm a big mommy now. Exactly. <laughs> I just feel like every girl goes through that stage where it's like, you're about to be a certain age and you start to evaluate your life. For the majority of my friends is, fuck, I'm not married when I'm going to have kids. I'm not married when I'm going to have kids. Yeah. With me, because I've never really, it's more about like, shit, my career, man. Mm-hmm. Where are we going with this? Like, am I just going to be somebody that just falls off? Or am I going to be somebody that just keeps going and just keeps like you see the people that are fucked with me from day dot keep giving them what they want but the people that are newcomers give them what they want as well and then yeah. become an entity you know 100 percent. you know you're very much i'm very career driven mm. i said career driven career first of all you're not drinking the drink and it's pissing me off you're, n- you're not you're I'm not gonna try this one you're not, these, you're two, not a these two are banging you're not a hoover. Can I just say a big shout out to Kirk's Cocktails? You guys already know These it's Kirk's banging. Cocktails on the mix, guys. She is absolutely incredible. Make sure that you check her out. She does events. She does tasters. She does um everything. I've not got the list here, but please check out Kirk's Cocktails. She's she's absolutely incredible. It's They're gonna really be in the description nice, box. Guys. I love it. I'm always listen. Kirk's Cocktails. You know it's sweet, mm. but it will get you licked. 
Oh, my sister, I can tell. Girl, <laughs> I'm already sitting. Me, I've already nearly finished, man. I've drinking on the man- on all the mango juice. But yeah, no, you're abs- you're you're absolutely right. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Let me sip on. Let me let me very, sip on this. But I'm very very happy for you. I'm happy that you're you're coming back with the Would bang. You get it though. I, I do you know like what I get it. Just think Nella doesn't care about you. Oh, sorry. I think people just feel like Nella doesn't care about YouTube. She's not on socials anymore. Like she's doing these things with these other brands, and I feel like they just don't understand. And I just don't want to come on my YouTube channel and make a thirty second video. By the way, guys, the reason I'm not filming is because there's better to come. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? That's a ten second video. Do you know what I mean, Bob? Do you know what I hear it? I feel like mm. as a person, like I'm, I'm learning. And I want to evolve more. And I know, I think yeah. you, what you're doing is very selfless because you want to give the people more. Yeah, like, you don't feel wanna like just you give f- them trown hall. Like. You feel like it, what you're doing is not enough. And you're like, guys, you exactly. deserve to be taken. You exactly. deserve to be get, get to another level. And that's a very exactly. selfless thing to do. Exactly. But that's why I'm just here to remind you that in any condition that we're, that we're going to love you and we're going to support you. I and I think it's one of those things where it's like, and I'm going to say this, me, I don't care mm. about how you look i don't care about how you package yourself i just want you and i, I feel do, like that's I that's how a lot of people are feeling but yeah. i get but, but honestly, i appreciate I get you, you saying I get that it. a lot i get it girl i get it but you know what yeah in any decision that you make everyone is going to support you i support you i feel you go 25 girl <laughs> 25 everyone is looking for my reach everyone's doing this piece. we're just trying to see how we're trying to take things I, to the I next level like, unless Every single person that's twi- that's above 25 knows what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. And every single person that's about to be 25, 25 yeah. knows what I'm talking about. Like, when you're about to hit 25, you feel the need to, like, pattern your life. Like, say, for example, you're in a relationship and you're about to be 25. You're like, mm-hmm. so, babe, when are we going to get married? When are you going to have kids? Yeah. My, re- my only relationship, the only relationship I've ever cared about <laughs> is my relationship with YouTube. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's that... Um, I started this when I was 18. I'm about to be 25. Am I really going to sit here and upload another haul? Yeah. When I've been doing that, am I really going to sit here and upload another video of me in a kitchen? Let me give these lot different stuff. Like, these lot, especially the people that, like, follow me and are subscribed to me, I feel like we all grew up together. Yeah. Definitely. You know what I mean? I feel that, yeah. Like, the same people that fucked with me back then, they fucked with me back here, and they're much older now. So it's like, you're going to sit there and try on this jean and say it doesn't fit even though it doesn't because i've gained weight but <laughs> it, it, do you know what i mean like i just i don't i don't want that i want to give them i want people to be excited to see what the new drop is or oh, oh nella dropped another whole, okay oh nella's in the kitchen again with her friends okay now i want it to be mm. like all oh, right then it's trying to teach us this now trying to do this like i want to bring Levels. back the excitement of yeah. my channel from back then i'm re- honestly i'm ready for it and yeah. have we got a timeline on this when we when we got something cooking um it depends on production Mm -hmm. um everything's been pitched everything is gonna be paid for when i get some certain things back but uh, it's gonna happen it's gonna happen but um i don't want to put a time just in case i want to push things back like you know when you put a time right it's like yeah "Yeah!" But, but, my but you said the first of July. No, it's the first of July. You can't see nothing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like Rihanna's but, um, album. No, this year. The, <laughs> this year it is no, de- definitely this year. Right? I can't. I can't say the time. But that's why I've been gone. Um, do you know what? I'm proud yeah. of you. I'm happy for you. We're waiting on you. If Thank you're saying you're coming back this year, guys, you heard it. Nella is coming back this year. No, please. oh no, hundred percent. She, she hasn't abandoned us like I that. I was gonna leave <laughs> for fuck <laughs> off <laughs> amount of time. She's lo- I mean? she's loaded. She's, don't worry, she's loaded. And honestly, I'm I'm so pleased for you. And I know that what you have is going to be phenomenal. You yeah. what you were doing at Fort Sanum, and I even saw what you did for Netflix as well. You're you're doing Thank you're you. doing absolute bits. And listen. If you don't see Nella on your channel, you're gonna see her somewhere. Okay, somewhere. it's not like she didn't go 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 like that. But yeah, yeah. like I didn't disappear off you the face. Yeah. Like I was doing content for other people. I was basically doing content for everybody but my channel. Yeah, that's literally it, guys. You yeah. know, because you know the fact. It's C and T, baby. What is good, bad boys and bad girls? This ad is sponsored by Anna Louise. If you guys don't know who Anna Louise are, they are sustainable jewelry brand, meaning not only are they stylish, not only are they classy, like the little stuff I am wearing right now, they are 100% carbon and water neutral, meaning not only are you gonna be looking good, you're gonna be saving the environment too, okay? 
also they have new collections dropping every single friday meaning that there are brand new items for you to buy and try every week one thing i love about them as well is not only do they look amazing they are very very affordable with items starting at 39 dollars girl don't take it from me okay make sure you click on the link in the description box to have a look for yourself and just to let you know they are doing buy one get 40 percent off right now so if you buy one you're getting the second one for 40 percent off girl you know i love myself a little discount okay so make sure you guys check it out and i will see you soon Ew. we have another segment it's not a new one we have a segment called win or bin so i'm going to tell you a couple of topics all right you are going to tell me whether it's a win for you or it's a bin for you and cool. you are going to tell me why are you ready uh, not the word let's go so first one win or bin Taki teeth aka veneers how dare you do that to me <laughs> Jay, Joyce. <laughs> okay, turkey <laughs> teeth or turkey teeth, veneers, aka veneers. <laughs> win or bin? I would win them. Why? Simply because I've had friends that I've had like the biggest insecurities like with gaps, mm -hmm. and you know every time they would laugh, like say we're all laughing, mm -hmm. they would laugh like this. Like, <laughs> Aww. And they'll spend their whole lives like just automatically, not on purpose, mm -hmm. but automatically covering their gaps. So for stuff like that, I don't mind. And some people have some really fucked up tooth that will give them like an overbite that they mm -hmm. can't control and that they hate mm -hmm. forever. I just yeah, so I wouldn't I wouldn't bin it. I know some people do it for like the cosmetics of mm -hmm. it and it's like your teeth are fine before mm -hmm. now you're going to get veneers. Why? There's we don't even see a difference. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But I am... Um, I think I'm 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 all for it. I'm all for it. But I do say try Invisalign first. Yeah. Because I feel like that's the better way. But with Invisalign as well, like, you have to keep the trick. Like, what is it? The retainers in mm -hmm. for time. For time yeah. like, and it's like, if you it's stop with your process. retainers, they move back. Yeah. So, yeah, like, whatever. Like, people's teeth. Like, I feel like with people like us, like, where we grow up with, like, normal teeth. So we don't know what it is to like have it teeth that it's like yeah. you can't stand like every time you see your teeth you can't stand them yeah so i can't be ignorant and be like ah, nah, nah. it's true <laughs> i feel like if it's if it's something to fix this insecurity like obviously i'm all down for people in fix insecurities like honestly vulnerable moment for me i i'm not a huge fan of my teeth i've got very gummy smile yeah when i, I smile too smile. when i smile too hard my you know gums. your smile is just like my little sister's oh is it is that the gummy and it's just like you just want to <laughs> squeeze <laughs> like it's so cute i've come to terms with them but listen not gonna lie i'm gonna shave them soon not gonna lie oh um, yeah so oh, obviously i do have an yeah. insecurity with my smile yeah my teeth are relatively straight i don't have a box of teeth but you i have, have perfect this. babe you have perfect teeth i feel like i've mm. got but your, your mm. teeth are amazing your teeth are amazing. <laughs> i get it from my dad i get it from my dad <laughs> Yeah, your that. teeth are amazing. I, I just don't. I just don't like. I just Joyce. don't like. By the way, that's your Congolese name. Oh, Joyce. Okay, I accept. Man, Joyce. I accept. No, I love your teeth. Your but teeth yeah. are perfect. Oh, stop it. Oh my god, Because they just so sit. Shy. You see, your top lip sits right on top of your teeth, and it's just like, yeah. <laughs> Yes, she a fucking yes, bad yes. bitch. Now, of and course, that's it does, but yeah, I definitely do. But yeah, I mean, for insecurity reasons, I understand. There's some of them that I'm like, please, like, yeah. you got them high, straight, bright. Like, sometimes they just look a bit boxy for me. They're just horsey. They, they look a bit horsey. Horsey. Like, but there's some I see that are absolutely incredible. There's some veneers that are that are amazing and they're natural. Amazing. If it's the natural one, but then you're, you're. I remember one time I was working River Island, and, and I don't know what you know, like the last shade of white. No, that look like. In fact, it's not the last one. It's the first one. <laughs> like is the is the is the what, what did Temi say? Temi, oh, it's the first one. No, Temi said it's jet white. Jet white, like <laughs> that's jet white, like. <laughs> and literally, when you smile, it looks like this person is walking in bright, high brightness and high exposure. Of course. Like that one, I'm like, babe, like it's not those ones. No, but I've seen some naturally looking ones. Like if people want to do veneers, that's fine. I'm yeah. all for. I feel like my friends have the best veneers. They need to give me their dentists. But, oh, don't worry. They, I'm sure they will provide. My <laughs> friends have the best veneers, but like when I see some, it's like 
you know when you get offered to do something for free influencers stop accepting shit for free no seriously when you get offered to do something for free you go the brightest white the biggest this the biggest that and then now it's like you don't look human you don't look cute yeah your teeth are like this long in your mouth (sighs) like (sighs) you look and it's like like, babe like be subtle move with grace Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Or else <laughs> it's like well, people won't see you anymore. Mm-hmm. Like you see how I'm looking at you, I mm-hmm. see you. Mm-hmm. But some people it's like they can't see past your teeth. They can't see past your BBL. They can't see past this, yeah. past that. And it's like you did it to fix an in- insecurity that was probably, I don't know, bothering you for years and years and years. But now people can't see past that. Mm-hmm. So just be gentle with everything. Be smooth. Yes, subtle, it's classic. Smooth with grace. So we're saying I would say win we're saying win for Venice. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm gonna give it a win. There's some stuff. I I don't mind it, but there's to some of them, they need to go back. They need to go back to the doctor. Yeah, nah. Win or been dating long term friends? You've had a friend. Nah, been, 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 been. Why? Been, been, gutter, the gutter, the gutter. Like, when it, nah, long term friends, yeah. Simply because you could, I don't know. Like you could grow into each other's looks and then find each other attractive, and say you guys start going out and it goes wrong. Mm-hmm. That whole friendship is it's finished. Yeah, Va- vanished. Finished. Vanished. Finished. I agree. Finished. That was a friend that I was seeing. Rocco we Santa. You were seeing a friend. We were friends. I've never seen a friend. We were friends. <laughs> Lockdown happened. There was no one else. You we- said. You said I'm locked up. They won't they let, let me out. out. And. <laughs> We ended up seeing each other during mm. the lockdown, yeah. moving past friendship. And I lost my friends. Do you know what I mean? After that, it didn't work out. It got a bit awkward. Now we ain't friends anymore. I don't know any... I'll be very surprised anyone who has been... Has gone from friendship to relationship. Mm-mm. It didn't work out and you went back to friends. Jay. Because that person has seen your puss. <laughs> like, how can you... Like, <laughs> They've seen your punani. They've seen your punani. <laughs> and you've seen the deke. Like, after that, it's like no. the friendship is void, bro. The friendship is void. You've never done it. Joyce, can I tell you one thing I've experienced in this life? Talk to me. Friendship breakups hurt more than relationship breakups. Yeah. I could break a... Neichi! Get the fuck out of here! I ain't even like you no more with your smart dick. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? But it's like, say it's like a friend breakup. No, I'm not that I'm saying I've broken up with anybody. Nobody can claim this pussy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Yo. joking. But it's like when I break up with a friend, I don't know why it hurts more. One hundred percent. Because it's like, <clears throat> who am I gonna call? You're, my, you're supposed to be my mate. Your mates, yeah. I've only had like two. No, because we made up. So I've only had like one like major friendship breakup. Yeah. I had another one with my friend who were, were mad back to best friends now, but we didn't speak for two years. Wow. And those two years were really hard for me because I didn't know how to function like without be him being there as like a support system, yeah. Support system, security guard, everything. Mm-hmm. And then he's back and I was just like, right, that hurt more than relationships. Wow. Hundred percent. I feel like with me, I, I've had one major relationship breakup mm. and it involved boyfriends it involved it was it was literally the messy situation <laughs> it was so it was so ghetto mm. um and i feel like it really changed my mindset with friends generally i spent i i, I realized that having a lot of friends wasn't a, what didn't work for me so i started keeping my friendship circle quite intimate and you know i was just it was I just really, it. it was just really really it. bad but yeah that really yeah. broke my heart i think what it is is that i feel like for me you're most vulnerable with your friend Facts. than you are with your with your partner. Fact. That's the honest truth. That's the truth, though. I, I don't have anything to prove to you. Mm-hmm. You don't have anything to prove to me. Yeah. If I want to walk around, I will remove my wig. You'll see my bald head. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You can't do that yeah. to your boyfriend that you fancy. Yeah. You're not, you ain't seeing these roles. You ain't seeing Facts. these cane roles. Mm-hmm. You can hang your breast. You can feel confident with your friend. Like, obviously, if, if you can feel, you can say what you want. You can burp in front of your friend. You can fart in front of your friend. Facts. Like, with your friendships, there's such a vulnerability that Facts. with someone that you're sexually attracted to, you can't do that because you're, you're trying guarded. to impress them. You're a little mm-hmm. bit more guarded. But with your friend, there's nothing to lose here. You're not, you're not a boyfriend. You're not a boyfriend. <laughs> I'm not your girlfriend. You're not my girlfriend. <laughs> so let's do what we want. So I feel yeah. like when you break up, that, that 
when you break up with a friend, it's so much more helpful because that person has seen you in your entirety. Facts. Like that person has seen you where you where you are in the bed, you're hanging your belly, you're eating popcorn, all the popcorn is in your mouth, all the all the popcorn is even in your hair. <laughs> when you sleep, you sleep with your mouth open. You don't wear sexual lingerie for your friend. You wear your dirty t-shirts. <laughs> You wear your dirty your t-shirts and your and your boxer shirts, yeah. And you don't care. Like there, there's so much more vulnerability as a it. friend mm-hmm. than when you're with a partner. So yeah, I have been with my 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 friendship heartbreak was worse than any other man that could break my heart, babe. Facts. Like that was with me as well. Mm-hmm. I think I've only been heartbroken twice, and those twice was through friendship heartbreaks. It wasn't yeah. through. A man has never broken my heart like that. Let him Do you know, know what I mean? <laughs> yes, Same. I but like, um, yeah, I feel like friendship heartbreaks will like really finish you, mm-hmm. like, yeah, proper finish you. But man, I just there's plenty of fish in the sea. Come on, you forget me. I can't. I can't find another word. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But Joking, friendships hurt that. more. <laughs> No, friendship ha- definitely hurt more. They definitely hurt, hurt more. Way more. I agree. So we're way saying more. we're saying been to date and long term friends. Yeah, I could never. I would say been as well. Leave them. Leave. There's plenty more fishes. See, leave your friends but alone. Also, it's like if if I found you attractive, you can never be my friend because I'd move to you. Do I have? A, I have quite. The thing is, I have quite a lot of attractive friends in the industry, but I've promised myself I'll never date industry men. But Joyce, you can have friends that are attractive that you would never date. Mm-hmm. Like I have friends that are attracted that I would never date, but I'm not attracted to you. But it's like mm. if I'm attracted, so say for example we meet through a friend of a friend. Mm-hmm. So a friend of a friend says, "Hi Nella, this is George," <laughs> and I and I go up to George and I'm like, "Hi George, I'm thinking so and so's friend." From that minute, I will know if I want to be friends with you or not. Or not, yeah. If I find you attractive, me and you cannot be friends. We're you gonna explore other avenues. Yes. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I can't be friends with people that I want. That are sexy, yeah. Like that are I'm like attracted to or like I want this and I want that because it's like the friendship isn't real. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's like it's dead. Like having especially with having male friends, when it's platonic, you have the latest friendship because it's yeah. f- free security, free <laughs> everything. Like it's just free, free everything. It's just mm-hmm. amazing. But like, if you're attracted to someone and you're trying to be friends with them, it's just so shit because girls will be moving to them and you have to act like you're okay with it and all this. Mm-hmm. I've seen girls being put in you know. stupid situations. I don't know, you know, a lot of the, my guy friends are very attractive. I, I'm so constantly <laughs> surrounded by attractive men. But the thing is, I kind of know my, I kind of know and respect my own boundaries. Like, especially, yeah. like I said, in the industry, I have a lot of g- a guy friends who are in the industry that are very handsome guys but i would never touch them very sexy chocolate daddies that i know in this game but i would never they're my friends but i i would i say i, I fancy them like you're you're f- oh you're fit like do you know what i mean mm. you're fit but it's not like i will pursue it any further than friendship because i just don't see them past that exactly level yeah. it's difficult because but i do i am surrounded by very fine men like even you've seen the people that work walk around this place these fine boys everywhere fine people but there's a difference <laughs> there's a difference between finding someone attractive and seeing them as a potential yeah that's the difference that's the difference that's the difference i don't see none of my friends as potential anything you guys couldn't handle me in your sleep (laughs) (laughs) and do you know what's mad when you actually see guys in a friendship way you wouldn't even want them you wouldn't even want them and then when you see guys in a friendship way it's like i see how you You girls girls, yeah you actually see it yeah they'll be like oh yeah this girl she pissed me off i kicked her out and i'm like yeah yeah <laughs> you're a my guy friends have made me very scared yeah guys do you know what's so crazy yeah talk to me girls will get sc- scrutinized online so girls will get scrutinized online for saying men are trash men are trash men are trash more time we're not saying men are trash because men have done us dirty it's because we've seen our male friends yeah and we're scared. how they behave very scared. Scared. scared we're scared we're scared, we're scared because very scared. It's like, men are actually out here treating women like this scary like no it's actually scary i've seen some things i'm not gonna lie and i was very it it really opened my eyes when i started having because obviously when i was young i didn't have many male friends so growing Mm. up i I decided to take on to take on male friends because i like testosterone around me it boosts my estrogen levels you know and and 
I see how they behave to some women. Like it's actually there was I think there was there was one situation that I was so disappointed and I had to go home because I was like, mm. wow, like is this how you treat like, Kian? I can't go into it because then I have to go into the person and I don't want that yeah, person. Yeah, I love yeah, that yeah. person to death, but awful, awful situation. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, God will deal with those boys. God will deal with everybody that is being an My idiot. My one is yeah mm-hmm. when oh, like men and women will lay down and have sex. Men and women will lay down and have unprotected sex. Mm-hmm. The woman has now been, I don't know, inseminated or whatever. She, the, the sperm is inside of her. Yeah. When you was moving to her saying, yeah, I want to come back to yours and I want to do this and I want to do that. You wasn't moving crazy. Yeah. The minute now you've bust inside of her, it's like you want to come hold her hand and drag her to the pharmacy to watch her swallow. It's crazy. This morning after pill. I was just like, like, when my friend told me that situation, I was just like, no way. How is it that the night before you're being moved to, oh yeah, come get bottles, this, that, and the other. I want to do this. I want to do that. The minute it's happened, it's a different personality. I was like, yeah, I don't trust men. I don't know anymore. Seriously, if I don't know you. Yeah, I stay away. I don't trust them. Like honestly, I can't. Ah. Like, because you you you'll say hi to a guy. They'll go and tell their friends that 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 you that they fuck that you fucked. Yeah. I remember one time actually when I was I, when I was eighteen. Um, I went to a party with my friend. Um, mm-hmm. and her ex boyfriend was there, and um, he bought her friend. He bought his friend. So after the party, my friend went to her ex boyfriend to do closure. You know closure it's never closure you know, unfortunately bedroom closure yeah so obviously i was then left with the friend so obviously um we were sitting downstairs um nothing happened obviously we did kiss i must say we did have a drunken kiss let me not lie i'm gonna be honest god is watching there me we had a kiss but nothing tried. happened <laughs> he tried to he tried to do a thing like a really uncomfortable thing like and i said i'm really not interested so then i then i then went up st- no oh my god i woke up to him humping me so I, I, we we fell asleep on the chair, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and he was hump, he was dry humping me as I woke up. Did um, she? Yeah. So I went upstairs, and um, when I woke up, he was gone. I went upstairs to the mum's room because we were sleeping in. The, we fell asleep in the, the living room. The mum was in the house. No, no, no. We, ma, the mum wasn't there, so the mum's room was free. So I went okay. to the mum's room to sleep. Yeah. And I went to college. After that, I told my friend what happened. I was like, that made me feel so uncomfortable. Obviously, because yeah. I was young and very stupid. So these things. Obviously, young and stupid, but vulnerable. Young and stupid, but vulnerable as well. Vulnerable, drunken place. the hell? You, cool. did, you didn't know any better. Like, what the hell? It's not your fault. So I then went back to college and my friend called me and he had lied and said that we had had sex. And basically, the reason why he went home early is because I was on my, I had sex with him while I was on my period and he had blood on his dick, so he had to go home. I was like, I, that's when I knew men are mad. How can you lie to that degree? Because I rejected you. You now went to your friend and lied and said that we had sex. Like, are you, are you nuts? Do you know how detrimental that can be to someone's life? That and the thing is, people will fucking believe that. People will believe that. You like, had, and when you're at that age, it's like people will know you for, oh, she has sex on her period. She, people will know yeah, you for that for Yeah, people won't believe years. you. Yeah, they'll know me for that for years. Anyways, thank God I don't blood clot care. But it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was awful. That's why, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, we are saying, been to dating long-term friends. So I've got been. one more. We're not been. Bin. Did we say bin? That's bin. Bin. Last one, win or bin? African hall parties. Win? What? Why? Africans have the best hall. From Somalis to Congolese to mm-hmm. Nigerians to Ivorians to I- to Ghanaians to South Africans. Mm-hmm. Not not to big up my own horn or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Africans have the best hall party. They do. 100%. 100%. Like, I'm, I'm so sorry. You can go to any, whether it's North, East, South, West Africa. Yep. Let's, we're not to have a good time. Are we going to be realistic or are we going to mm. keep it a stack? Fuck it. We're the best. Everyone like. fuck off. Everyone. I remember there was a thing. Sorry, I could say this. No, I can't say this, but I, I could probably say it because I'm in a bumba club. I'm in a blood club. I'm in a bumba club. I'm in a blood club here. <laughs> so basically, there was a thing where somebody said on Twitter, now Africans have the best hall parties. And then Fact. all the Caribbeans were like, they have whole parties. I'm like, I don't know. And then they, I was like, but the point people trying to make. We'll give you got, carnival. Big up carnival. Do you know, I love Caribbean people. You guys know I'm Jamaican in the spirit. Carnival, you lot can have. Same. Shelly Ann. <laughs> What's my. If I had a Jamaican, then what would it be? I don't have to think about it. 
So if I'm shady and you'd be like Shanice. Shanice. Yeah, I want to be Shanice. 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 Yes, goody. <laughs> yes, goody. <laughs> but yeah, they will I don't know, there was a point trying to be made that that Caribbean people always have whole parties. Do you know what? Yeah, everybody has their strengths and weaknesses. Mm. Us as West Africans, we can't say, yeah, oh, we got carnivals that beat West uh Caribbean no. people. No way. Carnival is carnival. Carnival is carnival. African people, whole parties, we got in the bag. Listen, mm. I love matching traditional wear. I love when everybody comes in a matching clothes. I love Afro beats. Food. I love the food. Yeah. I love the music. Who's doing marriage? I don't know. I'm going to. Can I just say something? Talk yeah. to me. I think, and you'd probably relate to this, like, mm-hmm. we grew up a lot on this Africa versus Jamaica and Africa versus Jamaica, Africa mm-hmm. versus Jamaica, and it's like. <laughs> you're gonna say something messy <laughs> nah it's not it's not even that it's just that like this hatred for for not this hatred or this this competition to want to be the best mm-hmm. it i don't feel like it comes from black people do you think it's a coll- colloquial thing yeah do you know like, what i, I hear like co- colonization made us s- want to separate each other from each other do you, do you know pro- most because people we're black we're all black. And we're stronger together. Happens, yeah. Wherever where you're from, you're from Jamaica, you're from this, you're from that, we're black. Yeah. So I used to feed into all of this. Nah, it's plantain. It's not plantain. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's Afrobeats over bashment. Didn't it? We're black. We're black. Do you see white people argue over now nah, Russians are better than Germans? Yeah. I ain't never seen that in my life. Oh no, 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 no. People from the Netherlands are better from Belgians. I ain't never seen that in my life. I ain't never seen that in my life. Do you know what I mean? So mm. I just, I, when it comes to stuff like that, I try to make a conscious effort. And I used to. Mm-hmm. I used to be part of those conversations. Yeah. Stupidly. But when when I started learning about like, I just used to be like, nah, I'm black. Yeah. I'm standing for whoever's black. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> y'all, y'all bitches be weak in the knees. Stand up. <laughs> like, I'm standing for whoever's black. Because yeah. at the end of the day, Say for example, I'm African and I'm, and I'm isolating Jamaicans. Who's gonna stand up for Jamaicans? It's true. White wow. people? Nah. Hell no. Hell no. We're all black. We're all from the motherland. Now, like. I used to be like, oh yeah, now nah, Afrobeats is better than Bashman and it's plant, it's plantain, not plantain. We're black. Mm-hmm. We're black. Like if we're not gonna support each other, you think these white people are gonna come together and try to support, support us? When, us when it behalf, was Black yeah. Lives Matter, they were all trying to um. What was it? They were all trying to justify their microaggressions in the in the workplace when everyone was getting called out. Mm-hmm. How are you trying to justify being racist, bro? Mm-hmm. That we live amongst them. And I don't give a heck. So I don't give a heck either. I'm black and, I, and I'm and i rooting for everyone black. No, period. word, 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 word. I'm word. rooting for no, everyone, everyone black. I Me, mean, I always, I, to be honest, I feel like a lot of times, sometimes I have some, I feel like because of my upbringing, because of my upbringing, you have to do a lot of undoing because then obviously things like, things like, um, self hate and obviously isolation mm. us versus them it really stems from childhood and it's some things that you have to do anyways everybody knows i'm jamaican in the spirits everybody <laughs> Shelly knows, Ann. yes mission is i'm <laughs> Shelly, I, do you know what i always say if i was an Nigerian, i'd be jamaican 100 percent. yeah or if but i was a, one if, people if i was a jamaican i'd then be indian but that's a whole other story no one you went that's I really Keep went. Going. I really <laughs> sorry. I should bring it back. But no, I love, I love, I love my Caribbean people. I'm um, absolutely fantastic. But obviously, African whole parties. This is, this is our bag. I, I must say, uh, we will give you Caribbean people. Will give you carnival. You look at carnival die. Yeah. You people, your carnival. Uh, go back into I it. Push y'all back into it. Push y'all back into it. Uh, push y'all back. Uh, I don't even. No, no, no. I don't follow even. My ding, 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 follow my ding, ding, ding. Follow my. Yeah, I'm a ding. Follow my. Don't go in bana. Cause I get bana. Do you know what song I love? This carnival. Ever the mid the bucket. Two hundred and the bread. We move to panic and a fucking. Eh, but the banana ginger and a fucking. Eh, banana, 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 bucket. Eh, bucket. Nobody can have it. Are you dumb? Listen, you not done now, Jamaica. Please don't look at this tattoo. Don't let me show you my roots. No. But yeah, African whole parties. I love Jenna Fries. Obviously, mm. listen, me, I'm the first one in the queue. Like, don't tell me. Listen, I'm exactly. not no shit. Before I used to be shy. Like, you never want to be the first person in the queue. I just feel like as well with African whole parties, mm-hmm. for a lot of years, the only whole parties I went to were Congolese. So the I've first never been to one. You'll love it. So Take the me. first, I go with my sister. You have to wear fine. We call it liputa. 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 So um, I love it. I think it was 
the first um hall party I went to was Ghanaian mm-hmm. and the fact that I didn't feel as different and I felt as welcomed, I was like, We're fucking African. Like this is what we do. This is like, what we do. Like we're all one big happy family. Mm-hmm. And I just the 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 way I felt so welcomed and I, I'm pretty sure there was only like ten Congolese people in that room full of hundreds of Ghanaians and mm-hmm. Nigerians. I was like, Yeah, now nah, big up. No, I love that. I love that. Big I've never up. been to a I've been to a Ghanaian Af- uh, a Ghanaian um, party, whole party. and I, I i love the um the what's their traditional quote they have a traditional kente. The kente i love kente, the colors yeah. the colors work so well on dark skin it's like whoever made Brandy. kente knew they're like this for black knew, people the oranges Brandy. and the greens and the whites nigerian whole parties i don't know i, I hate the fact that we have whole parties just for I people like to get married guys is, um, is it gele gele uh-huh. i love a good gele it, it just looks like a um i don't want to be offensive to anyone but to me it just looks like a massive halo and it just That's makes not offensive. No, you never. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but it's just like it makes Africa like, especially when I see Nigerian women, they they'll pose in their in their is it gele? Not with the shoulder. I know yeah, you see they'll the pose in their gele. And it's together like, like gele, but like she's ready for the picture. Like, no, that's ready for the picture with the gele. You know, no, I love, I love, I love it. It's, it's like African angels. Do you remember Viva Hall party? Viva Hall party. That's even the one I was talking about. The one I was talking about was the Ghanaian sixtieth. Oh, Viva Hall party. Oh yeah, or something like that. But that was the first one I went to. Wow! And I, I just felt like, right, this is my first hall party that I've gone to. That's not Congolese, and I just felt so like you still felt the everyone's same. together, and and I, I was just I was just really happy. And then after that, I even went to go and you know start looking at Ghanaian boys. I said, maybe close your eyes, <laughs> close your eyes right now, right now. Only look, only look at the ass because the ass is fat. Okay, but close your eyes. Back again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bum is big, oh. But that's no. what they're for. If you, if you like boys with big bum, big bum and stitchy pocket. Anyways, that's the conversation. God will ask you about this. And I'll say, God, what? I said it. Why you do that? <laughs> Why you do that? But guys, that was winning bin. We are going to move on to another segment. Let's go. Have you got your, have you got your brain capacity on? It's on like seventy. It's on seventy, so you yeah. you're, you're you're all right. Yeah. Because you're gonna need it. Yeah. In this segment, <laughs> we have a very special segment in which we ask our co-hosts cultural questions. I know. So you're gonna need your brain hats. Have you got it? You know, you know, Adiola wore glass, glasses so that she, so that it can process mm, the glasses I'm, process I'm the brain. Yeah. I know. After the you remember? Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so we call this segment. Are you smart? Just Nella! Just Are you smart? No. Really? I'm creative. You really gave up on yourself. You didn't <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's like, I don't even want to find my corner. Cool like, at this point, I'm creative. I'm a creative babe. Like, the grades don't mean name. But it's okay. Just ask me. Well, we finna see. You can't be, you can't be as dumb as some of the people that's come on the show. I.e. Moses, who is still in the pits of hell. Honestly, at the... Do you know what? Yeah, whoever beats Moses, I'm then gonna back, continue to refer to Just them. Ask me, guys. Cocktails and takeaway, yeah. The cocktail will lick you. The cocktails is really cocking. The cocktails is cocking. <laughs> Are you ready? We've got yes. ten questions. Yes. You can only give yes. me one answer. Okay. You can't tell me Bobby, Susie, Adam, Sarah, <laughs> Greeny, Sharp, George. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we can't say George either. Let's one go. answer. Let me prepare. Sister, let me prepare and put lip gloss, lip gloss on. <laughs> Guys, this is the best. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we've got 10 questions. Let's go. Question number one. Place these Netflix series in order of most watched hours. Bridgerton, Squid Game, Money Heist. Squid Game, Money Heist, Bridgerton. Incorrect. <gasps> The answer is one Squid Game okay. with 165 billion hours. Wow. Second is Bridgerton with 625 million hours and Money Ooh. Heist with 690 million hours. That's a lot of hours. Get a job. <laughs> Bridgerton, Bridgerton got more views than Money Heist. Yeah. And Despacitos, Un De Minados. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Oh, put some blue Wait, so Bridget and Gone Mo Queen's dead. Did you say oh, Bella Ciao, ciao? I don't know the lyrics, the remix. So, wait, Bridget and Gone Mo Queen's dead, Bella Ciao? Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. That, Let's move on to question you learn, two. You learn, a, you learn something new, girl. Question two. Which country is the largest producer of wine in the world? Italy. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Italy. Milano. <laughs> <laughs> Italy is the leading producer of wine and has the highest export volume of wine. Are oh, they making money? 21 million <laughs> hectoliters. I never heard of a hectoliter. What the life. fuck is a hectoliter? Question number three Angelina Jolie played which Disney villain in 2014? Maleficent. Correct. Bullet, bullet. Big up my my G Angelina. Obviously, the day I meet you, I'll lip you, but we'll <laughs> Coca Cola is the most popular soft drink in the world. What is second? I was gonna say Fanta, but I feel like it's Pepsi. Ugh. One answer. Pepsi. Incorrect. It's Fanta. The answer is Diet Coke. Eh, but there's a trick question. You can't ask me a question and it's a fucking trick question. The same answer was Coke and the other one was Diet Coke. Two different drinks. I take you to France, I put you in prison in France. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be such a shit villain in the movie, innit? I'm too friendly. <laughs> she said, I'm gonna take you to prison and then smile. Take, take a prison in front. Smile. <laughs> okay. Next question. Yes. True or false? Belgium is larger than Switzerland. False. Correct. Belgium I'm from is from Belgium. <laughs> yes. Belgium is about 1.4 times smaller than Switzerland. Next question. Who is Spotify's most streamed artist of all time? A. Ariana Grande. B. Taylor Swift. C. Kanye Beyonce. West. Oh, it's not Beyonce because Beyonce came from Tidal, so she came from another a platform. So her views can't beat that up, even though she's Queen B. Ta- Taylor Swift. Ariana Grande keeps dropping tunes. Taylor Swift. I don't. I don't know if I've heard from her in a while. I'm gonna go with Ariana. You're going with Ariana? Yeah. On Spotify. Ariana. Yes. Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm I'm excited. Okay, next question. Which famous black singer was in the movie Austin Powers in Gold Member? Are you gonna give me options? No. Beyonce. Correct. <laughs> I was gonna say Jamie Foxx as well. <laughs> but that's Dream Girls. I'm thinking of Dream Girls. Which American rapper was shot nine times and survived? 50 Cent. Correct. He, you don't know I'm American? <laughs> I'm from New York, the He's Bronx. Your uncle. <laughs> He's your uncle. I'm from the Bronx. <laughs> Which London Underground has the most stations? Are you talking about the line? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say. Jubilee. Incorrect. It's District Line. Is and that's it? got st- 60, st- 60 stations. Six zero. Imagine you're on the Jubilee from the start to finish. Yes. <laughs> Very long. Final question. What age did singer Jojo release her si- hit single, oh my Leave God. Get Out? Get out right now. It's the end of you, you and, and me. It's either 12 or 14, but I could be wrong. But I'm going to say 12. Incorrect. How old was she? 13. Ah, I was crazy. Eh? <laughs> so, I Nella, at the end of Are You Smart, you got six, which is pretty good. Editor, I think she. I think you might be third. I'm pretty sure you're third. Who's one of us? Koi. Koi, Shayot, Ooh. then I think it's you. Koi, I'm, I'm, I'm coming for you. I'm Pick up you, you, you know. I'm actually quite impressed. You did your thing, you know. Yeah. These, are, these were not the easiest of questions. No, but I feel like we grew up in the same generation, so we know the Culture same questions. Shit. Yeah, you got you know this. I mean? You got this. If you was to ask someone that was, like, much older, I think they would get worn. They'd be confused. <laughs> Jojo, who was going to get that Jojo question? <laughs> no, you, I was, I'm quite surprised. I, like, because I was there, I was like, no, oh, I'm sure. That's my sister. Oh, <laughs> that's my sister. <laughs> Baby. Okay, we are gonna move on to hot topics of the week. Of course, it has been a chaotic week, and we are Very gonna start chaotic. 
with our hot new releases. What's happened? So, obviously, I know you're a Netflix babe. So it's only, I love Netflix. It's only right yeah. that we start with this week's most crazy Netflix season. What's the happened? Ultimatum. <gasps> uh, that show, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Imagine you're laying in bed with, like, your spouse, yeah? And he's like... Hey, what do you want to go on a show where I, I marry someone else or I, I'm moving with someone else and then just to see if we want to get married in the end I'd break up with you from the proposition <laughs> that day <laughs> did you watch day. it yeah I did I watched the first three episodes but I just couldn't girl you this is once the they started moving in with each other I was like you slept hard I slept you slept hard yeah. <laughs> I couldn't girl the ultimatum has been my most requested thing to talk about on the show. Really? Because every single person, I just I just finished the season today. And can you I just say, it? yeah, I finished the whole thing. All 10, baby. All, all 10. 10. All 10. All 10. Yeah. And honestly, it was the most confusing series Netflix has ever done in its whole life and existence. Facts. Because imagine you want to marry like, someone. I'm trying to compartmentalize mm. the structure of the show. Obviously, for people that have not watched it, basically, it is an experiment in which you have been with your partner for a certain amount of time. And you want to get married. And one person wants to get married, but for some reason, somebody else doesn't want to get married. And there's contingencies between the partners. Mm-hmm. So what do they do? They decide to go to a, another person to basically build another relationship with them in the hopes of helping their initial relationship or coming to the realization that it doesn't work out for them. Yeah. And then they leave. Girl, can I just say I didn't understand? Like, bruv, this show confused me so hard. I just don't understand why you would. Do you know that initial conversation? Yeah. Like, I want us to go on a show where we date other people to see if I want to marry you. Mm-hmm. You don't want to marry me because me, girl, if, if it takes other people do you to know realize, I mean? let me even explain. Let me even explain to you why this is so hilarious. Because a lot of the girls who came onto the show and it was their decider, they're the ones that basically dragged their man on the show. Mm-hmm. Ended up getting upset that their man decided that they wanted to be intimate with the person, see other people. Because essentially on the show, they're basically broken up. So obviously, the so you're with your original partner. You've broken up to move on with someone else to see how they live in in relationship form honestly they're moving together people were upset because somebody was kissing somebody somebody was it was do you know what but yeah, when the, you applied did when you, you applied, think they were, were gonna kiss what someone were you else thinking? what the fuck were you thinking there was a there was a lot you know there was a lot of things about that show that pissed me off first of all some of the couples really really grinded my gift Which one? you know did, did, you, did you did you did you see that uh the the guy zay there's Same. a guy called Zay. Describe him to me. He's I a know what chocolate looks boy, like. dark skin, tall, very tall. handsome man, mm-hmm, chocolate, mm-hmm, chocolate mm-hmm, daddy. Mm-hmm. His partner was a girl called Ray. Mm-hmm. He was giving abuser, like he just was, really? yeah, he was giving abuser. He was good. I didn't thank God, it. thank God they ended up not getting, at the end of it, so I have to ruin it to you. Mm-hmm. They ended up not being together. I'm not going to finish it, babe. Like, you if I start it. something and I don't finish it, I don't plan Honestly, I started it. the first three episodes, I was like, this is dead until everybody was like, Joyce, if you don't watch this, we're going to kill you. So I said, okay, cool, I'm going to watch it. But honestly, Zay was given a bizarre. Um really? Yeah, it was it was insane. Okay, scenario. I'm oh wait, I'm scenario. Oh. Scenario. You and your be- partner have an argument. Yeah. And he walks out. Yeah. Doesn't come back till eight AM in the morning. He's cheated. <laughs> no, because you went to find pick up a girl at a bar, you was doing fucking and sucking in the alleyway, and now you're back. And now you're back. Yeah. And your cock is smelling like pussoir. Someone else is pussy and it's not mine. Thank you. It's smelling like anal. <laughs> it's meant like Let's be real. Let's it's be real. I can smell poo poo on your cock. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah. that's exactly what he did. Like, and he was like, honestly, like stuff like that can really push me over to the edge. And he couldn't fathom as to why his girlfriend was upset because you left the house. Hold on, guys. No, seriously, you left the house in an argument you came back the next morning. The sun has lifted. The sun is out, bright, bright and sky. Bright and sky, the sun has come out, and you're upset, and and you don't say anything. Are you dumb? Of course you fuck someone. Of course you fucking fuck someone. Of course you fuck someone. So what did he do to her? Did he make her feel like she was moving crazy? Yeah, she was like, "What? What did I do? What did I do? Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Why are you mad? You know don't that uh, gaslighting? Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Are you dumb? Why? What do you mean? Why am I mad? You've come back at eight o'clock in the morning over an argument that happened last night, and you know what? Please, girl, do you know what kills me? So basically, 
she the girlfriend was in a couple with another guy and it really de- developed into something they, nice. They've done a move-in stage, I think. Yeah, so obviously yeah. they've moved in together and, you know, the girlfriend, um, Ray, has really caught feelings for the guy, Jake. Bearing in mind that Zay has fucked his roommate, his they moving girl. Yeah, they've, they've yeah, fucked. I need to finish the season. You need to from, finish the season, nah, girl. From from couple things, I was just like, nah, let me you move need to, on to... As, as it progresses, it gets worse. Let me that first sight. That's well, what as, it progresses, as it progresses, it gets worse. It gets really? worse. Because they fuck. And to the point where you can see them cleaning their... Po- someone, someone is... Someone cleans her, the girl cleans her pussy at the camera on TV on national on the national TV of the internet, and then gives it to the guy to then clean his cock, and you can see you can see her wiping her puss the pussy juice to give to him to wipe his cock, so and he's shouting at her saying, "Have you had sex with the girl? Have you had sex? Have you had sex? Have you had sex?" Like imagine you're reflecting your insecurities onto another woman but all this time you were the one that was having sex you yeah. were the one that was fucking other bitches yeah like a girl i think you need to watch it i don't know if yeah. i had to rate if i, I had to rate it was messy it was very messy the yeah. thing is it, it made no sense but because it was so messy people were here for it yeah but i'm gonna give i'm gonna give the ultimatum for entertainment it's, it's straight nine but for actual structure it might get like a four no, because because you the entertainment, I'm definitely gonna watch it now. <laughs> For entertainment, pure entertainment, hundred percent. It's up I'm there. definitely it's gonna watch it. What are you watching at the moment? I'm watching. I ain't really watching much, but Married at First Sight Australia is like my main thing. I had I've never watched it, you know, and I had yeah. this like, proper thing. And the thing is, I used to be watching uh, like Love and Hip Hop, this that, and the other, but I just stopped watching it ever ever since like COVID, and I had to switch things around. Mm-hmm. I feel like the drama hasn't been the same because people haven't been able to hit each other. Oh, is it? Oh, it's bad. So bad. Yeah. But um, Married at First Sight Australia, and then just like documentaries. I watched the Jeremy Carl documentary the other day and I realised how TV has fucked up a lot of people. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Jeremy Carl documentary is mad. Do share. Basically, like, people have committed suicide just yes. from being on reality TV and being portrayed in, like, a bad way. Yeah. Um, And not being offered the correct aftercare, like, stuff like, um, like, therapy, this, that, and the other. Like, if you're going to be on a show... You should be able to be offered therapy. That's standard. Yeah. People are gonna chat shit about you on social media. Mm-hmm. I watched um like a lot of just, just I've just been watching documentaries. I but I did hear Jeremy Carl's coming back onto TV. Am I mistaken? Oh, I don't think he should. I don't know. I don't. It think. is a lot of times like watch I, his documentary. I'm gonna watch it because I heard about that. That's the whole reason why. Because they were they were re- they were confused about ethically what is Jeremy Carl doing yeah. to a show as a whole. Because I know there was a two yeah. people. On Show Me Car that committed suicide. Yes. Um, and two people that committed suicide. So one of them was a drug addict, another one failed a lie detector test, and another one was a producer on the show. No fucking so way. It's three. Yeah. A producer commits suicide? A producer. Oh, awful. Yeah. A producer. So I just feel like, I don't know, when it comes to TV, like it's fine to do TV and stuff. Make sure you look after the people that are being shown on TV. Yeah. Look after the producers and look after the presenters. It's not all about the viewers because viewers can pick and choose what they want to watch. If they don't like it for ten seconds, they can fuck off. Mm-hmm. But this is someone's life. Yeah. That you've put into this one show that someone might watch for ten seconds, someone might watch for an hour. Mm-hmm. Like look after the people that you're portraying on 100%, TV. Hundred percent. No, I hundred percent agree. I feel like generally, well. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to mention any names, but we're getting quite a lot of sleazy programs. At the, we're getting a lot of sleazy TV at the moment. We're sleazy Tell in a me. sense where certain people, certain people uh, mm. are using people's um, trauma, using people's behavior mm. um, to sell. Like they're mm-hmm. using the nastiest elements of black culture mm-hmm. and trying to sell it. And I just hate, I just hate that. Like generally I have, I've had a change in heart with things like love and hip hop is that because why is it that abuse sells? Mm-hmm. Why is it that fighting, the black community fighting each other, you fucking this. Mm-hmm. Why does that have to be the selling point to black culture? Like why cannot we to... be celebrated yeah. in a way? Why can't we be celebrated for our craft, for our comedy, for different things that we have attributed into this society? 
you like your your you like nah man nah i just i just don't fuck with it generally all, right. all that sleazy tv stuff i just when i see people profiting off people's people's abuse um trauma situations and i don't fuck i don't fuck with it i 100% agree with you yeah like i'm on your side totally 100% but I don't blame the people that go on those shows. Mm-hmm. I blame the producers. Yeah, that's the who I blame. That's who I blame. Yeah, the producers, they have money to make every single month. Mm-hmm. The producers, they need views. Mm-hmm. The producers need A, B, C, and D. So what they're going to do, they're going to take people and try to sell it to them like, do you want to tell your story? Do you want to do this? Do you want to get revenge on the next? Mm-hmm. Do you want to be famous? Do you want to do that? They'll use that against people's... Um, Against people's advantage, do you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like they will be like to you, like especially on TV. I think TV is the maddest one. And you know but what I'm the scariest thing, is sister? On yeah, on YouTube, as well. yeah, a lot, sister. You know what the scary a thing lot. is? You know what the scary thing is? You can like, for example, this conversation is going to be what maybe two or three hours. Mm. Me as a, me, me and my my team as production, we can cut you. You've had a two hour conversation of of, mm. of 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 a dynamic person. We see your highs, we see your lows. Let's just say in a situation where this might be one of those platforms mm. i can cut your situation in half an hour make you seem like a fucking villain because it sells you could your two-hour conversation could end up being half an hour of you looking like a bitch facts because being a bitch sells than being somebody that That's has lovely. issues that has issues that they need to solve mm-hmm. or that, that they have been through trauma no we don't want to talk about how she was abused as, with her father let's cut that out it doesn't help with our narrative do you know what i'm saying so i don't like me, I proper proper hate. I, I don't I, I like it that. either. I don't. I don't like it either, my good sis. And it's like sometimes when people see black people and think of negative things, like straight away, mm-hmm. it's not because they want to. It's because what we've shown them. Yeah, exactly. And it's like you know, black people are the most welcoming, especially how we are with our culture. The way we welcome everyone into our culture. Yeah. The way we are with our culture, with our music. Everybody listens to black music. Mm-hmm. Every li- everybody listens to some sort of black food. Everybody listens to so it's just like I just I don't Let's like highlight that black stuff. people being made to be a source of getting money when it's like yo this is someone's real this life. This is someone's real with. life. This and is someone's like you said in the case of Jeremy Kyle, this is exactly what happened. People mm. pre- people trying to profit off people's trauma and abuse and in a way that's comical and entertainment for us. Anyways, and they kill themselves and then they will kill themselves. God forbid. Let's mm. in in the black community. Let something like that happen. We will now. I'm I'm I'm. Uh, let's see. Anyways, me for example. For at the moment, I'm just a spectator. I'm just looking and watching. Mm. When somebody decides it's enough, it's enough, and they go and kill themselves. I'm sure every, everybody should start fix standing up. Stand no. up. Yeah, no, stand Do you know what I mean? Because I just I don't know. I feel like, mm, but back in the days, a lot of other people used to take advantage of black people. Mm-hmm. But now, like the selfishness that we've been raised in, is us doing it to, to each ourselves other. yeah agreed especially that like, i've learned that with like me being in the industry for like seven years mm-hmm. i've deeped it like us it's, it's us mm-hmm. hurting each other yeah and it's like if i've signed to you i signed to you thinking that you was gonna be sick for me because you're black mm-hmm and you're you're protecting me and it's like you're doing the opposite and it's like it hurts more you know but it is what it is is absolutely anyways i think it's i think it's important to have people like you um people like this show that we want to highlight people black people black culture in a fun exciting lit way i don't need to i don't listen i've had i've had so many people on this show if i wanted to sell people if i wanted to sell stories i could people Mm. tell me some real shit that i actually cut out of the show because i'm like you know what yeah this is not what the show is about Mm. we 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 are here to have a motherfucking good time have a motherfucking drink and to talk okay we're not here to be to be to be trying to be put on the news if i want to be put on the on the blogs for anything is to make people laugh is to make people happy or to make the broke man triggered oh, to make the, I want to make the, the broke I want to make the broke man triggered I want to make the broke man triggered because stand oh, up y'all need man. motherfucking money no not you motherfucker stand up I'm here to make the broke man triggered stand up y'all need some motherfucking change stand up that's the that's the only person I want to offend I want to <laughs> offend all the broke men so then one they can leave me alone and two they can stand up but yes let's move on to the next hot topic we have got Digger D mixtape Naughty by Nature which has come out today I haven't, I haven't listened to it yet but no, I'm a big Digger D fan and it's gonna sound very bad I'm a big Digger D fan Cause I used to listen to him from when he was in a group called Ten Eleven. 
Is Hassi was, was he in yeah. a group? Ten eleven. Yeah, he was in a drill group. Was I did 11. not know that. And it's really really good. Um, I used to listen to him from then, but nowadays I've just been working. I don't even have time for like my favorite podcasts, my favorite musicians. But I do love, I do love him. I can't Listen, lie. If anyone listens to the show, you know that this is a diggity, this is a diggity stand accounts. This is a diggity, diggity stand account. Did you listen to him in ten eleven? I didn't. Is the let's musical Spotify? Song, let's sing one of diggity songs together. Let's I don't know what we're going to Okay, no, no. go on. Cocktails and takeaways. No, I'm sorry, but can I we love have the a girl. conversation? Can we have a really op- open and honest conversation? Of course we can. Why is it that the most misogynistic men get the most of our straight female attention? Do you know what? I don't know, you know. It's just... Talk is bad. For me, I think it's my daddy issues. I don't know. I don't have daddy issues because it's like, obviously, <laughs> my dad, God rest his soul, we were best friends till I was about 22. Yeah. I don't so know. it's like, I don't have daddy issues, but I'm attracted to toxic alpha men. Alpha male. And maybe it's the alpha male thing. You could be an alpha male and still be toxic as hell. Yeah, toxic, o- tusk- toxic masculinity. I don't know. Honestly, it's really, we're really, look at the way we are dancing to us. They, they'll say, hoting, hoting, get shell out. Fuck that bitch. She's a whore. She's a <laughs> slut. They will be like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a dirty bitch. It's yeah, I good. fuck that bitch. Yeah, no, it's so bad. It's, it's actually bad. It's not good, but we'll be there. Like, it's actually mm-mm. bad. Yeah, and the I Americans were and, doing it before us. Yeah, there was. There was. I tapped her, I dashed her. She's a slut. I smacked her. She's a dirty bitch. I slapped now her. Nowadays, they'll be like, like, double tap that mash. I said, is that what, no, but is that's that what somebody's be, nyash. Double tap that mash. They I call don't know the mash if it's gone or if it's nyash, but because I'm not from the hood anymore. You'll still dance I to don't. it. <laughs> you still dance to it. It's, it's a vibe. You not remember, you not remember Nella Rose in the North Face all the time. Like, fam. <laughs> you know, you Nella, know what's, Nella you know in the what's North lovely? Face. Well, I went back to where I grew up mm-hmm. um, like two weeks ago. And then I went back to my mum. Basically, I went to the block. And then on the block where my mum used to live, I went and I went to see, like, who was living in my old house. Mm-hmm. And it was crazy because just to see how far I've come and just to see how, like, wow. everyone still, like, cause obviously my name's Ornella. So everyone's like, oh, yeah, Ornella, Ornella, Ornella. It just made me be like, yeah, I'm going to go more ham. More ham. Because these are the people I grew up with and they yeah. still fuck with me. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to. I love that. Mm. It's so weird. You ha- your name is Ornella and my Ornella. name is, is Joyce Ann. Oh, Joyce Ann. Yeah, I've got a double barrel name. Oh, really? Yeah, only people that know me would know that. Joyce Obviously Ann. now, now yeah, Joyce Ann. My name's so. Ornella. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Everyone just cuts their names short for social yeah, media. Yeah, for social media. But you know them ones where it's like, it's almost nostalgic when somebody calls you by your name name. Yep. Like, because I would know how that, if someone's like Ornella, like, oh, you know me, I'm know like, me. Oh. You know me, Where know you know me. me from? Where you yeah. know me? Yeah, like, yeah. when people call me Joyce Ann, I'm like, whoa, you must know me, know me. because Yeah, Okay, course. now people know. Don't start fucking with Joyce Ann. Go fuck off. <laughs> 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 so I mean, like, no, I get it. Yeah, no, nah, but it. that's honestly, I'm so amazed. So what did you, did you, what, so you, so everyone moved out of that house? No, mama didn't live there. Dad didn't live there. You move everyone so out of the hood? It's a long story. I've spoken about it on my channel, but it's a long story. So basically, when my mom came to this country, we was living in other people's houses for many, many years years amazing then um my mom was bidding for a council flat and then my mom got a council flat um and then we lived there it was in graham park it was an estate but to me it was home Mm -hmm. and to this day i still go back and i just speak to all my friends and i'm just having fun and i'm everyone's got dogs now (laughs) so i'm like having fun with everyone's dogs and stuff like that but um Basically, when, when my mom passed away, um, they kicked us out of the house because we didn't um, bid for a council house. Mm-hmm. A council house. We, you have to bid when you're 16 or something like that. Mm-hmm. We didn't bid, so they, they kicked us out. So we got kicked out. So it's like the week we buried my mom, the week we had to fuck off of that house. Hmm. And it's like I didn't really get to like leave properly like just because everything that that summer everything happened in like three weeks basically like one minute we're with my mom one minute she passes away one minute we get get kicked out of the house one minute we're homeless it was like quick do you know what i mean it was like a quick turnaround so i just remember that summer i just didn't understand 
like I, I didn't register a lot of things happening but like the community was there you know like the people that lived there the people like north west london will always hold a big 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 part in my in my life because of like how everyone people that didn't know my mom people just everyone people that didn't know me just northwest london will always hold a big part in my life because of that but yeah that's what happened that's the amazing girl and, and funny enough we are going to talk be, be talking about something on hot topics of the week about the housing so you'll be the best person to ask mm. but i just want to move on to two more hot new releases Orlando had new release. chloe bailey treat me so Chloe I Bailey, Love Talent Day, released her second single, Treat Me, with a lot of mixed reviews. Some people loved it and some people didn't really like the beat or the video or anything. Treat me like a treat me. Yo, a lot of... A lot of... You see, Chloe Bailey, she's gonna piss off a lot of people. Yeah. She's gonna annoy a lot of people mm-hmm. because she's very in touch with her sexuality. Yeah. As a woman... If she wants to be in touch with her sexuality now, she's in touch with it now. Yeah. If she wants it to be later or before, that's like you can't drag someone because of how they feel themselves. Yeah. Of how they express themselves and how they project themselves. Mm-hmm. Like if Chloe all of a sudden wants to be like this vixen, like this sexy vixen that's yeah. like really, really pretty, she can do that. Yeah. She can do that. Can your auntie do that? Can your mum do that? She can't. Chloe can. Chloe's at a stage where she can. Yeah. And it's just like, leave her to do that. I hate it when, like, you know when you grew up in, like, Disney, like, Disney Channel? That yeah, them Disney eras, Channel, children, Nickelodeon, like, yeah. Yeah, it's like, once you grow up on Disney Channel, you have to be Disney till you're 60 years old. Yeah. And it's like, a lot of people have been able to do that. Like, Zendaya was kind of easy. But, like, Raven Simone, it took a lot. Yeah. Miley had to go as far as going on stage in a fong for you lot to just leave her alone, alone yeah. and let her be an adult. I'm not Hannah Montana anymore, girl. She's not Hannah Montana. Like, yeah. she she took on a role as an actress. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Do you know what? I really love Chloe Bailey. I think lyrically, she's amazing. That girl she can, can sing. sing. That girl can, can sing. sing. I feel like, for me, the... Um, the song did not show her lyrical ability. Mm. I feel like the song was was very. I didn't. I didn't get it. It was quite all over the place for me. I'm. I'm for women showing their sexuality. You know me. Uh, hang your bomb. Hang your bomb. Hang your breasts. <laughs> Let everybody see that you're a sexy girl. Yeah. I Let just... everybody see that yes, you're, you're hot. You know. I'm for it, but I feel like. I don't feel like she's being sexy. I feel like she's trying to be sexy. Like, I feel like she's trying... Yeah. Talk to me. Like, you see us growing up with loads of siblings, Mm -hmm. it's very hard to find yourself. Mm -hmm. So, like, when you grow up, you don't know what is sexy, what's not sexy, and you Mm -hmm. don't want to ask people. You just want to figure out for yourself. Yeah. I feel like people expect Chloe to go from this perfect Disney princess to this perfect artist. Mm -hmm. Let her make her mistakes. Let her mistakes, yeah. Let her find herself. I would rather her do as many music videos like that and find herself than have one um, Los Angeles producer come and be like, we want you to have this look and we want you to do this and then she just loses herself forever. So that's why, because she's so young, no, we're getting old because we're starting to call people young. <laughs> we're getting old. You start but, calling um, us auntie at this point. But actually, no, don't call me so auntie. <laughs> don't call me auntie, Because she's so young, it's just like, I just feel like if she was 30, like, you know Britney Spears? I watch whatever Britney Spears does because you're, you're an OG, so I'm yeah. trying to... Yeah, but it's like, because she's so young, it's just like, let her make, let her pick the people she wants around her. Like, yeah. I feel like you have that pressure to just be perfect with the time, but she's crazy fucking baby. Like, yeah. let her make her mistakes. She's doing her thing. Do you know, I, I, I do really like, I think she's amazing. Same. I think she's sexy. Um, Sometimes, Same. you know, she does a bit too much for me, but you know, Same. all in all, the song, <laughs> treat me like I'm here for it. We're going to move on to the next song. We have Bia London. Love it. J. Stance, Cole. Stance, oh, yeah, stand, 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 stand. <laughs> no, I love it. Stan, Stan. One thing about Bia that I love, yeah, it's like ugh, 
she's different mm-hmm. but she came at a stage where we didn't expect anything different mm-hmm. she came at a stage where it was like everyone sounds like nikki everyone sounds like megan everyone sounds like cardi she came in and shannon sounded like herself and i was like yeah eh, i love that me i've never heard this anything like this before mm-hmm. and it's like you 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 can tell she's not trying to be anyone else but herself yeah 100 percent. so i love via do you know what? I'm really here for it. I love the song. Um, I love how it represented, obviously, the London girls. Like, we had a love, yeah. we had Denise Dainty on there. We had Priscilla on there. We had a lot of... Liam Anderson. We had Liam Anderson. We had a yeah. lot of bad, dark chocolate baddies on that song. And do you know what? I was here for it. Um, yeah, I'm I, honestly, I love when people, uh, people abroad always come and, and rap us more than we do ourselves, but that's another story for another day. That's, that's a, another, <laughs> make sure it's another story for another day because that's a big topic. Yeah. How Americans will come over here and fuck with us, but people from here will not fuck with each other. I'm still waiting for them to, to come and get a uh, Brie Runway because clearly I'm fucking, you know, I'm her biggest fan. You think you, think you ha ha and a bird and a gun and a one in the way. She's like, I, you. I can't lie. This might be a big of a statement, but I don't even give a fuck. The pre one way is the black lady Gaga. Yeah, hundred percent facts. She's a superstar. She, pre one way is a superstar. Brie Runway is a superstar. I keep saying it. I keep saying it. She's, and I'm, artists don't put time, effort, money, choreography into what she does into just the music. Her video. singing ability gives me chills dancing. her dancing her f- fashion sense don't uh, bruv don't piss me off like i, I think someone like brie woman made me realize how bad the uk is in terms of yep. bigging people up that don't that don't fit into the box yeah or the standard that we have here yeah that is when i realized because i'm like are you not blind like, are people blind what is going on it's just <laughs> what is going on the level of talent pisses me off because i almost feel like she should have been where she should be Mm -hmm. like 20 months ago i agree or whatever like i just feel like she's just she's she's a star like like in the in like a dusty place if that makes sense yeah she feel like if she was born and raised in la (laughs) yeah she declared she would be in a she the clear sense, honestly, clear. like I think she's I think she is phenomenal. But yeah, I love it when she's you know getting, I love my state size. I know, but she's getting co signed by Missy Elliott. Yeah. The UK don't even recognise her like that. When she is that bitch. Like she is that bitch. She's that bitch. She's that bitch. She's doing choreography, she can rap and she can sing. And can she sing? And all of her music videos is given production. Yeah. I just feel like all the black what? girls that are watching this, all the black boys that are watching this, push B runway. Push me runway, seriously. I'm I'm serious as well. I love that girl so hard. Her, I've only met her like one time and it was for like one minute. And I was just like, rah, like you know when someone's so humble, mm-hmm. it's like you deserve everything, bro. She does, hundred percent. I've I, this is a this is a this is a diggity stun stun account stun and, and, show. And this and is a Brie one day. I'm gonna add Digga. This is I'm gonna add do you know what? From now on I'm gonna add Brie Runway to this. So this is a diggity stand show. This is also and a Brie Runway because she's I have said her name a couple of times on this show and I think she's I wanna meet fucking her again. incredible. Be so what? Suits in the front, pants in the back. Do you know what? <gasps> Suits in the front. And she can proper sing. She as can well. sing. She can sing sing. Not harmonize. She can do the, she can sing. <laughs> the rasp- You know the, vib- the vibranium at the end when, when you do the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she can do the <laughs> <laughs> but she can do that. She she's she's phenomenal. I, honestly, please, please, Americans, take her because we don't we don't deserve her. I'm gonna be honest. Lady, we don't. You can't deserve her. You can't deserve her. But I'm gonna move on to the last. <gasps> Actually, no, I think this is it. You know, that was hot new releases. You know, we did have um the Real Housewives Housewives on of Lagos, Lagos that just came out. I haven't. Seen I've not it. seen it either. I haven't seen it, but I feel like it's gonna be lit. You know because what? you know us Africans, we bring we bring the vibe to it. It goes down when my G's connect. <laughs> hey, no disconnects. And they catch Chris forgets. If you don't, you forget. Listen, when the, when the G's them come, when the Africans come together, it goes down. Listen, made in uh, uh, Housewives of Lagos. Abs- listen, I'm excited. I haven't seen it. I've seen the trailer. Yeah, I saw but trailer. I just feel like you know, with me, yeah. I'm a bit biased. Yes. Like, when I see Africans, I'm automatically like, it's the best, it's the best! Yes, oh my God, it's me amazing! Too, like, too, me too. You could be from anywhere in Africa. If I see, oh, how's, we got a housewife show. Okay, I'm going to make sure it beats the Americans. It beats everyone. You know Love Island, Love Island Nigeria is coming out soon? Stop. Yeah. 
the aunties group chat, the WhatsApp group chat. Finished. Listen, they need to, they need to, finished. they need to put me on whatever. I need to, I need to be on the after, the sun after sun. You know, now that I'm turning twenty five, this is so bad. Now that I'm turning twenty five, I feel like I need to be. You know the, you know the group chats that the aunties throw around. Mm-hmm. I'm involved. Yeah, okay. we need to be there basically. I'm, I'm one of you. Basically, what are you talking about? You know what? Somebody on TikTok Live <laughs> kept calling me Auntie Joyce, and I thought they were being very rude to me. It happens to me all the time. I'll be like, like you fucking bitch. Auntie. I said you. Be, you know, I, didn't, I didn't say that, but I said stop calling me auntie. Like, I thought they were trying. I used to block them, but yeah. I'm like, no, we're not saying it to be real. We're saying it's it to be respect. Dimming, and yeah. sometimes, and I forget sometimes that like, people that watch me are like 17, 18, 19 <laughs> and I'm actually at that age, the elder age. God mm-hmm. damn, we getting old. God damn shit, getting so old. Yeah, God, but... listen. Don't call seriously. Don't call me auntie. Makes me feel old. I know, but the but truth is, we are at that age, friend, you know. Your friends are gonna have baby. My friends have babies. I'm auntie, and it's like it's disgusting. But I've got used to it. Y'all stay I safe though. I'm, I, I am an auntie technically. I do have three nieces. I have two nieces and a nephew. <laughs> but you're, <laughs> but you're an auntie. Shut up. <laughs> Close your lip. Or do they the call same. you? Do they call you like JJ? No, they call me Auntie Joystan. No, but you're an auntie. <laughs> Why but you it's different. It? Yeah, that's different. But when it when it's like you know, y'all don't even know me. Like y'all come for the like, auntie. Yeah. Like you call auntie someone that like is like is older and more res- like respected, didn't yeah, it? Like, it's but apparently cute. I'm 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 at that age where people start no. calling me auntie. Like, bruv. it's cute when they're toddlers. I'm auntie Nella to about like. So I'm auntie Nella to about like five like kids, babies, whatever. And it's like auntie Nella. They don't mm-hmm. even say it properly. They just say they say Nana. Instead of Nella, they'll be like, Auntie Nana. And Close enough, like, girl. To me, it's cute. But it's like, when you're 15, 16, and you're calling me Auntie Nella, that's when I'm going to feel old. <laughs> I have know a question. I mean? when, are you, when are you planning to get have children? I don't know. I just feel like, when it comes to kids, I just feel like, I have a plan of when I want to have kids, yeah? Mm-hmm. But then there's always this, like, quote that stuck with me through life. It's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> you make plans and then God just laughs at them. Oh, and wow. I've seen like my friends like get engaged, get married, have kids this, that, and the other and it's like nothing works out. So when God wants. Do you know what? I love that. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally going to go back to watching when I watched the ultimatum like there was like these no, are you're like, not going to watch the ultimatum to have kids. That's the wrong no, show. No, 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 no. I'm telling you these people were like 23, 24 talking about, ma- talking about marriage and I'm, and I'm here 24. And I'm thinking... We're the like, same age, babe. We're, we're the same age. What are you doing looking for marriage? I'm not looking for marriage. No, no, I mean like, like you, them, there, them. You're, you're on it. No, yeah. fuck that. I don't think... I think I'm going to be a late one, you know. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean... I'm, I'm very career-based. Like, I can't imagine... Like, fuck... Oh, okay, man. Okay, but look at... You see Automate and Love Island, all this stuff here. Mm-hmm. Some people, it takes them 10 years to find who they're going to marry. Some people, it takes them one summer on a TV show... And they're together forever. That's true. So you just have to wait till. Aren't God's you an idealist? It's not even idealist. I don't even have the most idealistic views on men. But <laughs> I, I have faith in whatever God has planned for different people. Because mm-hmm. I didn't think one of my sisters was ever gonna get married. And she finna do that. She, she finna do that. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> and I love that for her. So it just makes me. I don't know. Do you know what? One day, honestly, I, I think people have noticed. I have a very realistic mindset when it comes to like Same, and it's marriage. Me and up it, and yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, it has fucked me up as well. I guess that's that's gonna be maybe maybe after the third drink we'll talk about. But let's move on to hot topics of the week. Of course, it has been a very chaotic week, and we are gonna start with Britney Spears being pregnant. Britney Spears is pregnant. I'm so Britney Spears reveals she's pregnant months no. after winning a conservative battle during the court proceedings to free her from the conservative. The singer said she has been forced to take birth control and was denied the third child she longed for. So now I'm happy she's trying to get that. I love that. Um, I'm happy for her. Congratulations. I, I just can't believe like imagine you worked your whole childhood for a career mm-hmm. and you're not even getting the money from it. And on top of that, they tell you you can't have kids. Absolutely no. Do you know what? Yet, yeah. I think that made me realize how wicked people can be. Seriously, how how over in control people can be of someone's life to the point of that. Like it was, it was just fucked. And money changes people. Money can even change your family. I would, boy, I'm 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 finna tell you that. Yes, it's a fact. It's so scary. I think that's the biggest thing that changes family. Money. Yeah, money. Yeah. That like I've seen. Yeah, it's it's. I think money is the biggest thing that can change a whole family. Yeah. 
absolutely. Everything else, marriage, they'll get over it. Mm-hmm. Once the baby comes, they'll be like, oh, you know what I mean? But yeah. money is their biggest thing. Yeah. You know? And you can really see that in like Britney Spears' story. To 100%. The point where it's like, you want to come and make a whole conservatorship where it's like, <laughs> she's giving you everything. Everything. And, she, and then you're putting her on birth control so she can't even have kids. The one thing that can make her happy, because you've taken away her other kids. Yeah. So the one thing that can make her happy is having a kid that she can actually look after. You're taking, no. Nah. Insane, insane. But I'm honestly so happy for her. I feel like this this realisation of what she deserves, this realisation mm. that the situation that she's been in is wrong, especially mm. when it's to the close, to people that are supposed to love you the most and to your, uh, the, the, the closest people, your parents. Like, yeah. honestly, fuck. But I'm so, so, so happy for her. But we I have some Britney. other news, some UK news here. Inflation rises to 7% in the UK as Britain's cost of living soars. UK households have been warned to brace for the sharpest annual rise in the cost of living since the early 1980s after a bigger than expected jump in the official inflation rate to 7% amid record increase in petrol prices. I can't lie, Jess. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The petrol price alone has prepared me for the utter bullshit because my full tank has... The basically the money that I'm paying for petrol is mm-hmm. ridiculous and I feel like that's kind of like prepared me. Oh and my um my electricity and yeah. heating bill yeah, mine has, has finished doubled. Finished, yeah. yeah. And bear in mind I live in a space where it's like it's kind of a big space. Mm-hmm. So that's doubled. Mm-hmm. And then I drive a car that's kind of fast. Mm-hmm. So that's doubled and it's just like it's it just makes me it makes me just want to downsize on everything to be everything, happy. Everything, yeah. Honestly, like, it's, it's if scary. If I want to be happy... I know in America there's an issue as well because I spoke to my daddy and he was talking about... Um, he was talking about the, 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 the there's an inflation also in America mm. as well. So I think it's been kind of globally like prices of things has been rising insanely. Listen, guys, honestly... Start selling drugs. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> the big white stuff. <laughs> honestly... Because don't let anyone judge you for being a stripper. Seriously, do it. Yeah, honestly, because it, I just feel at like... At this fucking point. At this fucking the point. The way this inflation stuff makes... It's made me want to downsize. Like, it's made me look at my house and like, I don't need this, I don't need that. It's made me look at my car saying, I don't need this and I don't need yeah. that. So it's like, you want the whole country to downsize but and I'd rather sell what? the trees. <laughs> No, I'd rather, I'd rather sell that white. Listen, y'all sell the trees, you waste your better, time. The white? Cook the white, the white. Allegedly. I'm going to sell the white. The white. <laughs> Allegedly. Well, I'm joking, we are just joking. We're like, just fucking joking. Don't go sound by us that we're going to use that in white. Even from when petrol affected a lot of people. Oh, 100%. I'm, I'm not surprised. Like, I feel like, obviously, people. a lot of people are trying to recover after COVID. Um, A lot of companies, which is why, mm-hmm. like, it's just a dropper effect. Like, a lot of things... A lot of things were on standstill. A lot of people lost their businesses, jobs, so the economy generally fell. Mm-hmm. So, which is why, obviously, the inflation. But I'm it's it's worse. it's scary. Like I feel like for me, it was the gas and electricity that spun me. Obviously, my bill having to double was absolutely ins- like, bruv, it's mm. never spiked like that, bruv. We are talking, we're talking dumb money to be warm. And do you know what they're doing with that money? They go to Downing Street. Uh, they do all these parties. Yeah. Uh, I think they call it uh, COVID friendly. They have these fucking parties <laughs> in Downing Street. It's very disgusting. It's very, very disgusting. Yeah. And it's like, it's mad because it's like, you know, you'd want to take your government serious. I don't take them. But I, then I don't the take Prime them Minister seriously. The no, I don't. <laughs> Because they are fucking idiots. Yes. The, the, gov- <laughs> the Prime Minister doesn't brush his hair. No. What hair? That hair that's missing. Instead of you to go to Turkey. But you get it though. Like, <laughs> our Prime Minister doesn't brush his hair. He doesn't do this. He, doesn't he just do wakes that. up and vibes. And you expect other people to respect our country when our own Prime Minister doesn't even look like he respects our country. We should have country. the French uh, Prime Minister. He's very sexy. He's very handsome. Macron. Macron is very no, handsome. No, but Macron, I don't know about him because basically my best friend, she's Muslim. Mm-hmm. And he's Ooh, very yes. Islamophobic. Islamophobic, yeah. So, Do you know what's interesting? My sister was telling me about cute, that. He's yeah. cute, but he foul as fuck. Yeah. And we don't fuck with him. I think there was a situation in France where they told the girls that they weren't allowed to wear the hijabis anymore at school. Yeah. Yeah, my sister. Shout out to my sister. She's and the one that brings me on this, yeah. In their passport pictures as well, apparently, they had to... I know they had to fight. That's why in, in France, yeah, they riot for everything. Yes, we should start rioting too. Oh, my, you think me? I'm not down. Me, I'm gonna wear my belly cloth and my headscarf. Yeah, I'm out. No wig. <laughs> I'm in the streets. Yeah, seriously, I would. I, if we yeah. if we were not, I think we're very like conservative. Like, 
very posh people. We don't like to. We don't like to do. We don't like to be crazy. I realize in this life, sometimes you have to look mad for answers. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you mm-hmm. have to look a bit. I'm not normal. Do you like, know what I realize? Talk it's to the me. UK. I feel like in the UK, we let our government walk all over us. Mm-hmm. Do you think they could turn around to France and be like, "We're doubling your heating"? Yeah, France people they are would not normal. Turn. They would. You know, these men riot over bread. Yeah. <laughs> like I feel like with us, it's like. Well, all right, bread. Tw- only a little ch- twenty p. Right, we'll just right. complain on Twitter, and it'll be over in two days. Honestly, French people like because my sister, um, she does an English French uh, combined, and she stayed in for the whole of COVID. She was in, she was in France, and I, really? I learned a lot about the country. I learned a lot about the culture, and they're very no bullshit people, which I fuck, I fuck with them for. Mm-hmm. No bullshit people always writing, and it's not a riot where they'll just be holding flag. It's a real riot. Like I would deal with you riots. No, I would deal with you riots. They will finish like babe. Ooh. I would deal with you right. Don't worry, eat your watermelon. I can't. Just, Don't worry, just pick it up. Here's a tissue. So, we are giving a Silly Billy award to somebody who has done something very stupid this week that I want to talk about. That what you did did not make any sense. What you did wasn't smart, so but you went to go I'm and do it. Waved. I'm waved. <laughs> I'm waved. Shout cocktails out to cocktails and takeaway. Shout out to co- co- cocktails on the mix. Babe, See, I'm, I've been starting since. I was trying to clean up the place. I said nothing is cleaning, and then I tried to put them. Yeah, no, I, saw, the, I saw that. And I, I said, saw that. I said, wait. It's what not is it? Playing. I it's said, not I'm playing. waved. I'm waved. I'm Girl, shout waved. out to Kirk's cocktails on the mix. But mm. I want to give the silly Billy award to somebody that did something very silly this week. Who? The silly Billy award goes to New York rapper Mayno. 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 Okay. Is it Mayno or Mayno? Was he in love and hip hop? I don't think so. So this week he shared his very conversational kink in an interview on Angela Lee's Lip Service podcast. The Brooklyn rapper and reality TV star Mayno was in the middle of a conversation participating in certain productivities within the bedroom where he explains that he enjoys playing a runaway slave with white women. So he was basically saying that in the bedroom, role play, he likes to be the slave. He likes to play the runaway slave. (laughs) When he has sex <laughs> with <laughs> with white women, God forgive me, he needs help. God forgive me, that's not normal. I'm not laughing at him. I'm like laughing at, I'm laughing at the situation. God forgive him. He likes to you, be physically reprimanded you know, by a slave Ola. Do you know what's magic? Yeah? The same way like races like men mm-hmm. would have like fetishes against black women. Mm-hmm. I feel like maybe black women will have fetishes against that nah, white people. Stand up right now. Stand up right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Y'all need to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas be weak in the knees. Stand up. But like, I don't know. That can't be normal and that no, can't be I something that's... I need to read this. XSL says, uh, he says, I like to play a disobedient slave with a white woman. It's two of them. It's like me getting whoops right. Most of them don't want to play like that. They said, this nigga nuts. Listen, you're going to act like you're a master's wife and I just got whooped by a master for eyeballing you. But the whole time you've been really, you know, you like it. You've been eyeballing me. It's some freaky shit. Joyce. Tracy. Is that like a boy? T- oh, is that bien t- Is that bien t- yeah. This one is, I think they call it a uh, fetish, but it's okay. like with a fetish, like say, for example, my boy was into people's bum, bum cheeks. Mm-hmm. I can't stop you from being into that bum cheek just because I disagree with it. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you're into white people, no, calling Nella, you, you can't. Slave, no, Nella, you can't. You can't. This is not one of the your. Thing is, the this thing is, is no, Nella, no, no, let people it. live their truth. Now, Nella, out, fuck hear that. Me <laughs> hear me out. 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 Yeah. If that's what you're into, and I tell you, don't be into that. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. And you pretend just to shut me up. You're gonna do it behind my back. Because this is nah, generally what, what you're into. But how did you get? I mean, people have like. It's normal foot foot fetishes. I think foot fetish is very mad. I think it's very mad as well. But this one we've accepted it. People have obsessions. You've with accepted feet. it. Me, I'm still <laughs> normal 
um, bum cheek. Mm. What's the people fetishes? Some people have a fetish with stepping on things, stepping on like, crushing Some animals. Some people have fetishes with like certain smells, smells, hands, from whatever. Your body. I have obviously. I love me. I love fat boys. Like there's certain mm. things that just like you just yeah, as you should. But it's not a. Fe- that's not a that's fetish. That's not really to a me, fetish. That's just yeah. normal. normal. This one is too much, Nella. Mm. This one, d- you Some, you like to be the slave boy. So, but no, but. Do you Martin Luther King have a, had you, a dream. Do you know what? I don't find that deep. I have friends that are not dominatrix, but it's like no, guys would want to step on their balls, and guys would want you to like spit on them and like step on them with like. Have, you ever, have you ever done that before? I wish I feel like it would be proper in, in empowering, but I just I've done it before. Strength. Huh? I've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> I've stepped, I've stepped on the one and they go on two in my time. You stepped on someone's balls, but then you think it was going to explode. Tell they me like everything. It, they like it, though. But they then like you it. think it was going to explode, like, the minute you put the heel. Yeah, they, they like it. Believe me, they like okay, it. Okay, but then you think you was going to kill someone. I was quite, the thing is, it's like, as you go more into it, it gets, you get a bit more, like, at the beginning, I was quite like, what the fuck, like, I don't want to hurt you. To but see. then one of the guys telling me, nah, like, hurt me and then you'll just step on them and you just say you stupid boy you'll beat them <laughs> Did, i told i think i told the story i told the story on this show where someone gave me 400 pounds to start cussing their mom then i <laughs> i said this thing, but if somebody dm me and then like <laughs> oh, she cussed someone's mom that's what they like what? he said he like it your mom is a bitch. Your mom, look at you. You should, be so dis- you should be so disappointed in yourself. You're so fucking, look at you, you're useless. But do, you know, do you know the thing? I, in my head, I'd like to think I'd be able to do that. But the whole time, I'd be busting up. Your I mom! F- <laughs> your mom will be disappointed! And I'll be laughing like, that's too funny to No, me. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I, the thing is, again, it's one <gasps> of those things that you warm up to. Like, you know, like, if you're nervous about it. Yeah, I can warm up to that. You will start by saying, oh, yeah, you know, you silly Billy. You might start with something small like oh you silly boy you're so stupid you know you will never be great in this yeah. life then you like as you as you warm up to it you'll now say you 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 should you you, you i will fucking spit on you like you just <sighs> like <laughs> i'll fucking spit on you boy i could do like your like your mom is a dirty slag like they like it imagine somebody's liking their mom but somebody's what? Me, t- me, I'm calling your mama slag. You're getting turned on. You don't have any manners. What have, <laughs> what have, what have they been through that they like? That's that? what I'm saying, but that's what I mean. The runaway slave thing now. I want go on for that. Like, bumba clerk. Like, no, but I just want to know, like, why do you like that? Like, I want go on for bumba clerk. What's turning you on about me cussing your mom? You're getting a, a your boner because I'm saying that yeah, your mom is a whore. I'm telling you, your mom is a slap. You're getting hard. Oh, you're yeah, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it when you talk about my mom. Like, like people are fucked. This is your stronger than me. Do you know, I said to God, I've lived the life. This you know. is why guys don't date YouTubers. That would have been a story time time ago. <laughs> Just me. The time a guy told me, like, I could. <laughs> to cast his mom. God, that's unbelievable. I'm telling you, no, it's real, real story. Real story. real story. I got a voice notes. She said, but yeah, no, nah, sorry, but this one I could never Ruspe. do. Imagine, imagine, if, like that's the thing. Black black women are already getting fetish. Imagine one white guy telling you to be okay. A you know, I love a scenario. A I love a scenario. Mm-hmm. A white man, very handsome. No, no. I love no. white people, but no, very handsome white no. guy. Wait, I cannot wait for these things. <laughs> wait, a white guy, very handsome guy. He's like Nella. I like you. No okay. one is gonna know about this. Not a single soul. Okay. I want to pay you 700k mm-hmm. to be a slave for two hours. Nah. Those two hours will haunt me for seven 700k years. <laughs> I'm not doing that. You know, with me, like, now that... You know what's so crazy? When I used to... um, Now that I have enough money to, like, sustain myself mm-hmm. and to, like, not want for certain things... Mm-hmm. I realized that money is just, two million. It's evil. No, babe, I, I promise you. Five mil. No, <laughs> I promise you. Like money is the root to people acting different around you. Mm-hmm. To it's the root. It's just the root to all evil. Like when they said it in the Bible, they didn't lie. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So you couldn't offer your you couldn't offer me a large amount of money and me be gassed about it. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna be gassed about that. it. Do you know what I mean? If you wanna offer me this and that. 
Just say you want to do this to me. You don't have to offer me a large figure. I'll say no, but I'll move on. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, like if somebody was to offer me mm-hmm. two mil, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I know you're on this phil- philanthropy shit, but I'll fucking do it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what that. I don't. Want, I don't know what journey Della Rivers is on. But I'm on a different journey. I will do it. I'm on. I'm on a PTSD journey. That's Listen, what I, am. I will do it. <laughs> so I said, I hate it. I hate it. Say for two hours. I will do I it. You, I promise you, Joyce. Yeah. The day, the day you get two million in your bank account, mm-hmm. and you deal what comes with it, you're just gonna start looking around like, is it worth it? You just gonna, everything's gonna be like, nope, 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 nope. And you would wanna have to just like stuck with your like. You would have regretted not just sticking with your stuff and have like stuck with your values. Mm-hmm. It's weird, but yeah. When I get to that level, we will chat. But for now, we'll take no, I must. Ha- I must have a chat with you now before they come and collect you before it's too before late. Before it's too late. Before it's too you're late. You're giving me. You're giving me life lessons. Okay, don't <laughs> worry. Okay, I won't do it for two million. Maybe ten. <laughs> <laughs> But guys, that was Hot Topics of the Week. Guys, if you guys enjoyed Hot Topics of the Week, make sure that you follow us on Cocktails and Takeaways at, t- what is it? Instagram. No, you said 201. I said, what's the, which, which kind of Nigerian phone? <laughs> no, I'm finished. Cocktails and Takeaways on Instagram. CNT Podcast on Twitter. And make sure you subscribe to us, Cocktails and Takeaways. We dare and check them out on TikTok as well. Do you know what? I always fucking forget this. They have the best snippets. Oh, yeah. Check us out on TikTok as well, Madam Joyce. Oh, That's where I see all the best snippets purr, on purr, TikTok. Purr. So make sure you check them out on TikTok. Yes, Nella. Let them know because we have forgot. But we're going to move on to our final segment. Let's go. We got question of the week. Obviously, we asked the bad boys and the bad girls a question on a poll. And they give us their insights and their opinions on the matter. And this one I'm very excited for. Yes. Do you know what it is? No. I'm going to tell you. What's the question of the week? Alrighty. Question of the week. Is it okay to discuss you and your partner's sex life with your friends? (laughs) I'm I'm, going to say my answer, but it might be problematic. Talk to me. Yes. Why? Simply because you could be having one sexual experience with your partner, mm-hmm. but until you discuss it with your friends, you'd think it's normal. Until your friends would be like, oh no, that shouldn't be like that. That shouldn't be happening like this. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. And that's when you realize, oh shit, we're, I, y'all be having fun, I've been suffering. And then you go back to your partner and be like, oh, could you do this different? Could you do mm-hmm. that different? I feel like if everyone just keeps quiet about like their sex lives in their corner, you, you don't want to know it. what's right from wrong, yeah. what's good from bad, Give what's me an enjoyable example. to not enjoyable. Like, for example, like some women like guys like sapping at us. Do you know what I mean? Like, not you like, reenacting this. Not, not, not like, you reenacting the spanking. <laughs> you, need I'm done. Un- you need to understand how many friends. I have too many friends. Mm-hmm. So, like, some girls, some of my friends, and bear in mind, a lot of my friends don't know each other. Not that they don't know each other, but they're not close with each other. It's like, yeah. I know you from school. I know you from uni. Mm-hmm. There's like, Chinese. yeah. So I have some friends that it's like, when a guy spikes them, it's like, oh, like, oh my god, do it again. We can do yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then some friends, it's like, cause you haven't had that much sexual experience, it's like, why are you trying to hurt me? Oh, okay. Of thing. Yeah. Uh huh. So it's like a more serious note. Yeah. So it's like, okay, cool. You bring them together, and it's like, nah. Sometimes guys don't know whether you like it or whether you don't like it. So if you keep yeah. allowing it, he's going to keep thinking that you like it when really he's not used to a personality where it's like, I slap you and you don't like it. Yeah. So speak up or else he's going to keep doing it. Mm-hmm. And then my other friends, <laughs> the whores, <laughs> is like, ah, oh, a guy will be slapping you, slapping you, you. You're not telling him you like it. So now he stopped and then you catch your attitude with him. It's like, no, but you tell him you like it, ho. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Beat so it's me! Like, it's like always, always, always. I think I don't think there's ever there should ever be a situation where you don't tell your friends because it's it could be awkward telling your parents, okay. your aunties, yeah. your siblings, but your friends is like one safe place where it's like yeah. I did you know I got bent over and swear down. Did he do that right? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I feel like nowadays in our generation. 
friends is a safe place, then mm-hmm. it's a safer place than parents and family sometimes. So, example now. Mm. Your boyfriend has a small cack. Small cacky? His, his, oh his cack is small. Oh my God. Are you saying... Are you having a conversation? You're with the girlies and you're like, sis, not gonna lie, yeah. The cox is the cox is not cocking. Do you know what? If my if my boyfriend had anything wrong with him, mm-hmm. I wouldn't tell my friends simply because my friends are worse than me. <laughs> like he wouldn't be like, oh nah, Nella's mm-hmm. coming. It'll be like Nella small cock is coming. Like, do you know what I mean? It'll be. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. If anything's wrong with my partner. <laughs> I wouldn't tell my friends until I'm ready to break up with him. Mm-hmm. But I think that's just my friendship group. That we're very like. So generally, you... the census is you're okay with uh, discussing your sex life with your partners. I'm I'm okay with discussing anything with any of my friends if I call you a friend. Yeah. If I don't call you a friend, you don't know shit about me. Like we could be neighbors for ten years and you won't know shit about me because that's just how I am. Yeah. But it's just like, if you're my friend, then you're my friend. And you I love that. And everything. Do you know what? This was quite a split one this week, which I love a good what split. Happened? What happened? 46% said yes, it's okay. And 54% of people said no. I will say my take on this. Mm-hmm. This is what I believe. I honestly feel like, and I hear what you're saying in the sense of having sexual experiences that you quite don't, you don't quite understand and mm-hmm. having to ask for information. Mm. But I'm thinking of the question more in a like girl, like you know what finna happen last night? Like he, the way he ate my pussy, like goddamn kind of thing. Yeah. And girl, like I'm gonna be honest, his dick was small. The, the stuff, fine, that kind though. of stuff. That's okay. I would honestly, this is my honest truth. I would honestly say no. But shit, I do it anyway. That's the thing. Like <laughs> I can. <coughs> my mouth is so big. I finna always yeah. talk. Like I love <coughs> shit. <laughs> I took, you know when the spit goes <coughs> in the wrong way that's happened a couple times the way, the wrong way. you know when like you're having a conversation with your friends and I, I'm very, I'm a very expressive person what you see is what you get I find it very difficult to, to lie and I find it difficult to hold things in especially if it's in my relationships mm. if something happened in the bedroom if, if he knocked the socks out of my feet sorry I'm the friend that I'll call you Joyce how was your day my day was amazing. The way my man fucked me, my goodness. I nearly I, I, I nearly resurrected. Like that kind of stuff. That's me. Some friends I love how you're like that because mm-hmm. I'm like that. Yeah. And I treat all my friends like my mm-hmm. friends like they know that I'm gonna be like that. Yeah. But you need to understand that also like some women are just so prude. Yeah. I like that like, one. Yeah, they just like they would wish to be like that open and honest with their friends, but mm-hmm. They just don't have it in them, and it's just like they're so. My sister, basically, my older sister, is who I'm talking about. Like she wishes she could be that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bitch, did it because I'm her younger sister and I'm doing it. So she expects it, but it's just like it's not in her. So it, I find it cute that she tries, but it's like some people just don't have that personality, babe. It's true. I really feel like it's dependent. Me and you mm-hmm. were very expressive people, like very out there. I'm very easy. out there. It is easy. I, Listen, mm-hmm. I have no shame. One thing about me, you can't fucking beat me for what I said. I'm not gonna say it at work. You can't fucking beat me for what I said, bitch. Yeah, God, only God can judge me. Hello? <laughs> only God, you God? Hello? Facts. Like, literally, I'm that type of person. Like, I Facts. said what I said. Yeah, of course. But I do wish sometimes I was a lot more reserved in the things that I say. Mm-hmm. Like, I really do wish because it's like mm-hmm. once me, I'm a very, well, I said it, I, then I said it, innit? Like, you ca- I can't take it back. I'll say it, then I'll regret it later on. I'm like, and then I'll be fighting with myself and it's like, you shouldn't have said that. But fuck it, you meant it. Though. Yeah, I said what that. I said. What I say. Like I'm a very, but sometimes I do wish I was a lot more private with my stuff because it's. I mean, sometimes, sometimes it's not everything you must talk to with your friends, especially with your partner. Because mm-hmm. one thing, you know, there's a, you know, re- relationships are very dynamic. Like sometimes you have a great day, sometimes you have a bad day, mm-hmm. and your friends will hold on to the bad days. Believe me, like the friends, the friends will, like they do hold on to the bad days. If they don't love you. If yeah. they love you, they will see that you have a bad day and address that bad day and make sure that bad day never happens, happens again. again. Yeah. Some Pull red up. friends they'll they'll, Fight him. they'll <laughs> see they'll see you have a bad day and they'll use that bad day as like, how dare you do this to me after we've been through A, B, C, and D? So what? The whole time we 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 had a friendship, I'm never allowed to fuck up once. Mm-hmm. 
Do you know what I mean? I'm telling you. No, so I agree. It just it depends on how different people deal with deal with it. But I'm just gonna read what a couple of the bad boys and bad girls not said. Not the bad boys, not the bad girls. Yeah, we got the bad boys and the bad girls in the bizzle with their the girls opinions. Girls that get it, get it. Yes, Kimberly NBX said, "If telling, if you're telling your friends just for gossip, then no." So obviously, in your instance, you were like, "Okay, if you were saying to me, yeah." This is uh, the situation. I need help, sis. I don't know whether this is right or wrong. Can you help me? It's a win. No. If it's a if it's a gossiping thing, like girl, like he I'm too much of a private person to let shit like that go. Like I'm telling you something that's happened to me, like with my family, mm-hmm. and you're saying that with your friends, you're gossiping about my issues, like with your. We're family. talking about sex here. We're talking just oh, just, sex. just just yeah, sex yeah. Oh, sex. I just I just I don't know. It's like if I tell my friend anything in private. Mm-hmm. You repeating it is out of gossip wise or yeah. like trying to I've got some tea on this and I've got some tea and nah, nah, don't fuck with that. I, I call people off so But you quick. would tell them inst like I mean that's what I'm saying. Like would you tell would, is it okay to tell them, listen, you were your your <laughs> your partner was eating your pussy and he bit you. He bit, <laughs> he you. bit me. He, he bit, bit you. <laughs> The thing is, he bit me. you. It's like I just, I just, I'm very open with my friends about. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna be nah, like, girl. I'm very open with my friends he about everything. Like he was a burger. But yeah, I'm, I'm open with my friends about everything. But I wouldn't wanna if I if I see someone as like my future, mm-hmm. I wouldn't wanna try and paint them out as a bad person yeah. towards my friends. Again, it's really, it's really you. You're really fi- you're like me. You're fighting two things because I'm very open I've and expressive. I've been fighting two things for years now, babe. Girl, <laughs> I'm t- I'm really open. Like, I'm what you see is what you get. I really want to. And what's on my mind? I would just say like, mm. if I'm sitting there thinking that my man bit my pussy the night before, I'm gonna say it. Like, if mm. I'm with my girl, I'm like, girl, like this guy really ate my really bit my pussy in the night. Mm. But then I want to protect him at the same time because I don't want I don't want when my friend is seeing him at dinner. Like this one, that, this one that this one that bites puss. This one that bites Panani, mm. bruv. Like Panani uh, Panani bites. And up. people, once something is out <laughs> yeah, on the internet, <laughs> people will never forget. You can say something in 2001. People will be like, okay, but in 2001 you said, you said that. this. Okay, but I'm 10 years older now. They don't care. They don't care. No. Once they... something is out on the internet, that's one thing I've. Learn. I'm People telling never you, never forget, girl. Right. So, Leslie 09 said it's meant to be confidential, even if it's your closest friend. Um. Then Kiola said, to an extent, you can sh- you can share things to your friends. Um. Diorella said, to be fair, I don't want to know how your dick dick and puss. I don't want your dicking and what the hell dicking I don't want to know how y'all dicking and pussy and please I can watch porn if I want to know so sis said I don't want to know what your partner's doing it in the bedroom what relationship you have with your friend right? just we, uh, we take us and everyone's sex life is different getting advice from a friend can reflect badly in your relationship mm. because imagine now like your your partner he's the more romantical type he's like like he's like a one round man he's like you know, I will give you pussy, like I will give you dick, but I don't have this stamina. Mm. And you're like, you're t- I'm telling you, sis, like, I'm not going to lie yeah, my man, like, you know, oh, yeah, you know, we just have one <laughs> round. And you're <laughs> telling me, what? My nigga hitting five rounds. Mm-hmm. I'm dicked up all night. I'll be feeling bad. I'll be like, I'll be looking at my man and thinking, only mm. one round. Right? Do you know what I mean? Like, you start to compare, like, you start to compare, like, Ima- just... would you imagine now, imagine now you're telling me, oh, yeah, my man's, you know, I'm asking you, you know, oh, how big, how big is he? You know, let's just pretend we're being mm-hmm. a raw, honest, drunk conversation. How big is your man? Mm-hmm. And you're telling me, he's like this. And I'm saying my man is like this. Joyce, I, I don't know if it's a bit problematic, but it's like, I'm the, I have a, I have a lot of sisters. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm the second younger sister. Yeah. And I feel like if it wasn't for my sisters doing that, mm-hmm. whilst I was growing up, I would have settled for... Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like I would have yeah. settled for guys that don't take me out, guys yeah. that don't compliment oh God, me. me. Wait, how, guys, how many siblings you got? The number is even rough, but basically six to seven. Six. And you're, and you're the second last. Oh, me too. I'm, I'm second last. I'm second yeah. last. I'm the, I'm the middle so I'm like, child. I'm, no, I'm, I'm like the second last second girl. second youngest. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the second youngest. No. I've got one more brother, but I'm the I'm the sec I'm the second girl second youngest girl. Oh, okay. So I've got one brother that is the only, that's the last only f- boy and yeah. the youngest. I'm basically, it's only my younger sister after me, and then that's it. So I'm the second youngest. 
I love that. But everyone likes to treat me like I'm the second oldest. Where we talk about that later. I'm sure, uh, girl. Um, I'm sure we will. Basically, it's like if it wasn't my sisters going through chatting shit about guys all the times in my yeah. ears, this that and the other, and then my brother chatting shit about girls all the time in my ear, it would make me like it's made me realize that it's like okay, cool. This is what girls and boys expect from each other. Yeah. And this is what I need to bring into a relationship. Like all this drama and this chaos and this gossip and this bullshit made me learn things. <laughs> and this time they were all yeah. beefing their significant others while you were I was like, growing up. And I learned a lot. Mm-hmm. As you do. So, now having older siblings know, is amazing. And I feel like now it's like no nigga can take me for idiot. No nigga can ever try to violate me, try to do this to me, try to do that to me because it's like my siblings have been through it all and I've seen it all. So who the fuck are you talking to? No, 100%. You know no, honestly, having older siblings was a lifesaver for me. Like life I was able saver. to avoid a it's lot like, of things. It's like free tutoring. But you know, a lot of people don't have older siblings or older siblings that are very open and verbal. True. Like, which is, I remember I had a girl send me a voice note about some really horrific shit and I was like... Mm girl, why don't you talk to your older sister? She was like, because I can't. Like, so mm. you, some people only have their friends that they're open enough to be vulnerable with yeah. in this instant. But I'm just going to read even what Alicia Nye said. As a woman, I would feel embarrassed his friends knowing how we get down. Mm. Um, and um, Ikram said, because they might want to sleep with your partner. You never know their intention. But then you, then you need to check your friends because if somebody, like, to be honest, you could imagine yeah. you could be bragging to your, I've heard stories of this, like girls bragging, saying that, oh, you know, my man has, his cock is yeah, cocky. And then your friend will be like, oh yeah, I wouldn't like, da, da, da. I understand that. Mm-hmm. But the first girl is like, you shouldn't, she just needs to change her friendship group. Yeah. Because if you feel like, oh, if I do this with this girl, if I kiss this girl, or if I have sex with this guy, all my friends are going to judge me and all my friends are going to just snitch on me. They're not your friends. They're not your friends at all. They're not your friends. That's that's CCTV. You're walking around with CCTV. Bro. Basically. They're not your friends. Basically. But I'm just going to read literally two more of what people said. Mm. Maximilian said, I don't think it's an issue unless you do it to embarrass or shame your partner. Facts. Big, big facts. And um, Tolu said, she said, just for a bit of gossip, the people who say no are lying because everybody does it sadly. Do you know what? I, 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 I would find it difficult, guys. Guys and girls. I'm going to say guys and girls talk about their sex life. Maybe they won't Maybe they won't mention their partner's name, but I don't know. Like, I, Someone is saying it because I be hearing people. I, I know about all y'all dicks and I know about mm. all y'all pussies. Mm. I know somebody was biting somebody's cock. I know, but it's like, do you know? Do you know why I get what she's talking about? Yeah, yeah? sister girl saying. Like yeah. you know when you come from like a strict Christian family, mm-hmm. and it's like you're not supposed to be having sex, and because one of your friends has sex, they're basically telling your family, oh, one of her friends was having sex, so I'm sure she was having sex, she was having sex, she was having sex, and now all your family thinks you had sex when you didn't. I think that's kind of like the worst feelings in the world because it's like no one will believe you. No, no, you know what, what the, I mean? No, no, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about? You just fucking said it. What'd she say? She say. She say when her friends think they did it da da when she ain't even do it. Girl, what? Second what? to last. I don't think it's an issue unless you do it to embarrass or shame your partner. I had the one after that. Because they might want to sleep with your partner with no debt, with okay, no attention. Okay, the one before that, you said something where it's like girls being being accused of sleeping with people when they haven't even done it. No, no, we never said that. that. Are you sure about that, girl? Girl, that was like that was like forty minutes ago. So when I heard that, because I heard that like ten minutes ago. <laughs> right, guys, I'm gonna close the show. <laughs> 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 because I thought I heard it, girl. girl you were, you were. I don't know where I don't even know where you got there, but girl, we finna close the show because that means that Nella is waved. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nella is waved and Nella is here. And honestly, Nella, can I just say bef- before closing the show, I'm so honored to have you here. Like, I don't thank think you, you understand. Thank you, for having me. thank you so much. Where do people find you if they're dumb and don't know? Um, <laughs> I don't think I don't think people should find me. I think people should subscribe to you. Big up Madame Dre's. Big up cocktails and takeaways. <laughs> Obviously, if you lot are hearing this, you lot not know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Big up the TikTok, because I see most of your videos on TikTok. I love Big that. Big up the TikTok, the Twitter. 
the YouTube, the Spotify, everything. And um, when it comes to me, you'll see me when you see me and I'm on period. Oh, I'm going to put up her stuff anyways. You'll see oh, it on the I screen know. now. But thank you, you so much. You know why as well. <laughs> yes, I know why. We all know why. But we're still going to... We, can we just say... We're just waiting for you. We can subscribe to wait, okay? But mm. Nella, thank you so much. I'm so inspired by you. Thank and I you. And I love you. And honestly, love like, I just want to be so vulnerable right now. Ah! Not the... You literally, like, honestly, like, when I first started this show, when I first ever started this show, yeah. and I was writing my affirmations about the show, you were one of the people that I would have loved to work with. Honestly, I remember, I, I have a book somewhere, and I was like, <sighs> let me hear for the cry. We for the cry. No, 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 we thanks, we thanks, bitch, we, we thanks. And honestly, I, I remember I wrote down, and I was like, I would love to work with Nella Rez, and this was very, very, like, this was before I started the show, and literally, you were literally number one on my list, so the fact you are sitting across me right now, it's a proper <laughs> dream come true. <laughs> Anyways, let's wrap up because I'm a mother. You ain't motherfucker see me cry on this show. You ain't motherfucker see me cry on this show. What? You ain't motherfucker gonna see me cry on this show. No, hell no. But oh, yeah, Nella, you, thank Joy. you so much. I love you and thank you to everybody watching as well. I love you too. And we will see you next week with another bad boy or a bad girl. And with that being said, we out, baby. Ow.